Hi to Chaco. Then first PCG. Why is the flag for PCG not working? What? Oh yeah, I think PCG is uh the open worker three that info. Search. Yeah, um, his, his flag is not Chinese. I don't understand why does it not default to Chinese? Oh well. Okay, let me tweet. Let me tweet. Tweet, 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 tweet. Again with yes, winter one. Okay. And what was it? Coop A C and Coop A C and F. Oh. I tweeted. What do we have here? We have a Death Knight here for PCG. Still no XP. Here comes Blade Master for Lin. Tojara! Tojara, the, bla the uh, Blade Master. Death Knight coils the Ogre. Gets a close of attack, so Tojara cannot seal it. He's grim being aggressive. As you see from the start, he's playing so much different than uh, Fly does, by the way. Fly never plays this aggressively against him, that. Like with a level one. Well, maybe sometimes, but I do believe Lin is uh, overall playing more aggressive most of the time. In this matchup, Fly just likes to creep to level three, and here we see Lin playing very aggressive from the start. Uh, skeleton wakes up the creeps. We want boots. Do we want boots here? Circlet. Death Knight. I mean, this this map is pretty difficult to creep for on that when you're still level one Death Knight. There's a Blade Master being annoying. Can't believe this is. Trading already. Nice to have stream. Trading. Trading. I don't understand what you're trying to say there. But uh, you're welcome for the stream. Or... Anyway, the Bla Blade Master going for the Fiend. Death Knight just blocking. Blocking the. Blade Master, but the Grunt blocking the Fiend. Can he, can he get the Fiend? Can he actually just get this Fiend? How much more coils do we have? We have one more coil. We have one more coil. Okay, the Fiend survives. Speed Skull, however, with this Speed Skull, can he get, still get the Fiend? Not a nice block there with the Death Knight. And there's a Cold Tower. And the Fiend survives. Starting. Oh. Yeah, 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 it's just a week after the GCS summer, right? It's pretty insane. Four fiends, four fiends out, but still, uh, it's gonna be difficult to get level two. He doesn't have a coil, he can't really leave his base. Here's Tojara again. Blade Master being such a pest. I mean, he can kill a fiend now because there's no, no mana for coil. I think maybe, maybe the Death Knight walked out of his base a bit too soon. There's a, where's the skeleton block? Here's the skeleton block. There's no there's no boots though. No boots on that blade master. So he will have a coil. 
and save that fiend. But this grunt, this grunt can block the fiend here. Oh, does it surround it? No, the fiend walks around, walks uh, below the grunt, south of the grunt. Goes back to his base. Okay, second hero is out here. It's a shadow hunter, of course. And we see, what else do we see? Wormill? We'll see Wormill soon. Uh, over here, the list is going to be pretty late. Compared to Shadowhunter. Fifth Fiend. Of course, this is uh, this strategy that Undead is doing. It's very nice for, uh, for, for Lin to play very aggressive against it. Because Lin has an earlier second hero. Lin has a faster attack. Well, PCG has the more units early game, so he can creep faster. But not if the Blade Master was there. Now it's just a solo Blade Master. He can deal with the solo Blade Master. In fact, the uh, Lich is almost out. <coughs> and we have uh, Slaughterhouses up uh, at some point. <laughs> at some point. At some point they're going up, I'm sure of it. Not yet now, though. <coughs> is he going to creep this over? Over here? Wow. He's just creeping it, even though we have a Blade Master here. I guess it's fine. The Lich is on its way. Does he, did he buy your skeletons? He did buy skeletons. The slaughterhouse is going up here. And as we can see here on the other side of the map. Shadowhunter creeping. Tome of Intelligence. So nice for Zora, Zora Jazz. The Shadowhunter. That's what he wanted. However, this uh, Lionhorn of Stormwind. Not very good at all. Zora Jazz already level 3. Are you, are you serious? That is so fast. Level 3 already. Feel like he only creeped like these two creep camps, this green camp, and this one. Maybe this one as well. He got level three. Can he take a fight here? Well, with a level three, uh, do you know if it is best of three? Oh yeah, nice as you mentioned it. I do know this. It is a best of three. Three. Uh, the Blade Masters going for the Death Knight. Death Knight can TP out maybe his Hex. Oh, the Blade Master goes down! Are you kidding me? And the Death Knight is surrounded by Skeletons. And he has an Info Potion. Uh, wonder if it's 7 second one or 15. We'll see in a minute, I guess. Uh, TP out here by the Death Knight. Loses this. No, kills a Grunt. Doesn't lose anything. I guess the level 3 Shadow Hunter was not strong enough there. The Blade Master was just low, too low of a level. He had level two healing wave, but this does not look here for uh, look good for Lin here. Lin, he needs to carry all the orcs. A player's forces are under attack. Here comes uh, a nice and stare on this ogre. Just gonna kill it. TC third, very standard. We have uh, Kodo, he's getting the Kodo upgrade. Probably Berserkers. Well, the Death Knight. Death Knight is level 3. This is level 2. Claws of Attack plus 6. Claws of Attack, very good on the Lich. <clears throat> I take so much damage. What item did he get over here? Claws of Attack plus 12. It's alright. I mean, at the moment, it's not that good. He had, just has a level 1 Blade Master. He needs at least level 2 to critical strike before it gets really good. He has level 1 critical strike now. Hi, hi, hi to Chaco. Hi, uh, El Wolf. Him over here, he still has the close attack on the TC. Gives it to the Blade Master. Blade Master now pretty nice damage. Plus 33 damage, but only level 2. <laughs> only level 1 critical strike. Only 650 hit points. Can still be nuked easy, easy peasy. Let's just level 2. Where we, we still have a nice XP advantage here for Lin. He has a level 3 hero and two level 2 heroes. While the other side we have a level 3 hero. Wait, 
Let me take the, let me say that one more time. We have because the blade master is level three as well, right? Where is he? Oh, he's over here. No, oh. where's the blade master? But he is over here. Did he steal? Did he steal the all oh, the great potion of healing? He stole it and he got nuked. I'm not sure if he got the uh, XP there. I think so actually. And the death knight surrounded. He has a healing potion. Gives an info potion. Oh, and TC now dying. There goes the TC. Uh, this ghoul goes down, blade match, 160 critical strike, just level 1 critical strike. Death Knight in danger again, can he kill the Death Knight, can he kill the blade master, can he kill, well, who's going to die, where? The Death Knight does go fall down, we have two codes here, they haven't even eaten yet, and now suddenly they start to get hungry. After they see the Death Knight go down, they're, uh, they, they're hungry, but the blade master, blade master just got killed. We have uh, two fiends, two heroes, and two statues here for uh, PCG. If you can kill some of these Kodos, maybe has a chance. Um, do we see any of the players buying a hero back at the tavern? I do see this Kodo, but it doesn't seem to go to the tavern. And, uh, well, one statue went down. One fiend will go down as well. Shadowhunter is going to survive, no problem. 45 supply left here for Lin, 37 for PCG. More fiends, more more destroyers. Is it really Lin? Yes, it is really Lin. Because remember, Lin has only been back for a few weeks. Solving his Kodo. Kodo has a fiend in the stomach, so does this Kodo. Only Lin with one hand. Lin has a lot of raiders, two grunts, two kodos. I don't like this army composition too much, but I'm not sure if Lin ever was a big uh, big fan of berserkers. I don't remember. I know Focus, Focus really liked those berserkers, but Lin, I don't remember. Is it really PCG one, two, three? Well, maybe. Maybe it's a fake. Maybe it's a fake. Does have a ring of regeneration? Not very useful. Where's the Death Knight back? This is dangerous here for PCT. So close. So close to Lin, but he doesn't have a uh, Death Knight. If they would meet right now, this would be GG for PCG, but I guess he's lucky. Lin is creeping over here. PCG is creeping over there. TC is very close to level 3. Blade Master is level 3. Did he get level 2 critical strike? Yes, of course. PCG one two three sounds like a license plate number. I think that's what he just did. He just uses a uh, license plate number as his uh, as his name. Fifty spike and forty. Lin should easy peasy be able to win this fight. There's an snare. We only have one statue. Are you kidding me? The, the blade master gets nuked, but the blade master survives, like a true blade master does. There, uh, one one fiend goes down. The skeletons all get stunned. Uh, the fiend stunned as well. The coders are just so hungry. Look how fast they're walking. That's how hungry they are. I mean, they're just running towards the food. They uh, they don't get dispelled. Their speed school didn't get dispelled. Bit of a mistake there by PCG. Uh, this this coder didn't eat anything. We have uh, two destroyers. One of them with a little bit of mana. Um, yeah, a 38 supply only for PCG. Blade Master retreats. There's a dust. Blade Master, where is he going for? What is he doing? Is he going to kill something? Yes, still a skull of healing, and also, of course, a Shadow Hunter with one more healing wave. There goes that grunt. Just uh, heroes against heroes. Well, we have three raiders and the code is still here for uh, for Orc for Lin. And GG. Uh oh, doesn't seem like. I don't know why I broke it. But I, I should be able to f be able to fix it again. Right, one more thing. Summoning is complete. 
Forces are under attack. So why is my overlay no, no longer working? This is bullshit. Our forces are under attack. Be working. Uh oh. Hey, uh, Kim Chun san. We have uh, PCG here. Trying to keep here on the top left. Blade Nash comes in. Uh, top one to top two qualify just a yeah just a top one just a uh, one player from every group this blade master just killing this fiend the fiend does he get another coil can he save the coil a fiend does not save the fiend the fiend goes down and already a much better start here for uh, Lin this game than last game we yeah, do see two circlets and a close of deck and a close of haste he's going this for this fiend in this micro back Bye for now. See the Blade Master. Uh, Shadowhunter is he almost out yet? Shadowhunter is on his way. A very similar start as last game. Slightly different. Slightly different. Death Knight is already level two this game. Better items here on the Blade Master. But uh, we did see the the slow death knight fast fiends here for PCG. Do, how many more coils do we have here? We have uh, two more coils at the very least. Uh, well, big master going for this fiend. Yo Chaco. Co cast. Maybe, but co casting is it's so difficult. Blade Master gets slowed. Well, the Blade Master gets away safely. He didn't buy Boots of Speed, of course. No Boots of Speed, but because uh, the Blade Death Knight was already level 2. I, I was wondering last game, he could have bought a of uh, Boots of Speed. Could have been good. This game, uh, I don't know. Like, I don't think so. Because boots of speed is useless once they already have the the aura. Mass coming back in, but can he steal something? Go for the death knight. Meanwhile, the shadow hunter is creeping in the back. There's a nice coil saving this fiend. How many more coils do we have? We have plenty more coils. At least two more coils. But there's still level one. What's he doing? Just fighting with two fiends. He might be forced to coil another time the oh this this fiend 98 critical damage 98 i bet chaco you're afraid because tandis is a used marine um i have to admit i've never watched tandis stream not even once never seen him stream f knight uh picks up claws of attack killing some of these trolls Blade Master going for this uh, fiend. It gets a nice coil. There's a healing wave. Uh, all these fiends are very low. Look at these two fiends. There goes one. There goes two. But the Blade Master, Blade Master, also very low. Can he kill the Blade Master? He needs to kill the Blade Master. He kills the Blade Master. Losing two fiends. He lost one fiend earlier as well. So three fiends already lost here for for uh, PCG in total this game. Well, Lin only lost his Blade Master. Oh, he's still hunting down these fiends. Look at this shadow hunter. Look how sneaky he is. He just he wants to kill those fiends. Meanwhile, the heroes here are creeping. We love, have a level three death knight finally, and he, we finally have level two coils.
And we have a slaughterhouse up here. Do we have a little bit of downtime? I do think so. We see if we can tweak this uh, overlay maybe a little bit more. Like this. How, how can it just break? It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. Does it make sense? It doesn't. It's still working in the, in the, if I open it in the background, like in a... Never had this happen before. Never. There. Fixed it. Yeah, now I know why I couldn't fix it because one of the uh, settings was wrong, so it wasn't reset every time I tried to uh, turn it off. Now, uh,. Let's see if we can actually fix it so that the flag is working. Again? Yeah, again. What if you break it again? This time I know how to fix it, okay? Just creeping anyway, we have a bit of time. did this too there you see you see we can do this during stream finally have a chinese flag here for pcg and he's going to creep here pcg that's for this creep camp that's pretty nice pretty nice creep camp for pcg to get lin is going to go for an expansion uh of course he did a very good early game so he might be able to get away with it but his gut is hurt his radius hurt his blade master, where's his blade master? I'm not sure, but we have cyclone here now. Cyclone, we have healing wards, we have a school of the beast. PCG has some pretty insane items. They're all uh, usable items though. So the next fight, he can win one fight. What is he doing? He's going for a base race. Oh, what happened here? Probably sapper, that's what happened here. We see TP being bought here by the death knight. TPing home, he loses the altar, he will lose this uh, ziggurat or cancels it. And the TP, both players TPing. And the Kodo even eating a fiend. Then just realizes he cannot fight straight up, so. Instead of trying to fight straight up, he went for base race. The base race, he has expansion as well, so it makes a lot of sense. Also, um, he has raiders, he has grunts, he has no pillars though. Units are pretty hurt. He cannot take this fight. I don't think he can win this fight yet. Blade Master is still very low. He has some nice items, but he has no hit points. Shadowhunter has... Oh, Catgar's pipe! Catgar's pipe here on the Shadowhunter. That's decent. That's decent. Pretty good. He has plenty of mana. The Blade Master again. Going for the Ziggurat. Ghouls defending. Can the ghouls defend against the blade master? I'm not sure. Maybe they can. Use the info potion, but well, oh, how much damage can you do here with the blade master? After the info, info potion uh, is done, not much. That means PCG can kill the expansion here for sure. For sure. Kills a peon. Kills another peon. He kills them sneakily behind the trees, so we don't see that he kills these peons. We definitely level one. Uh, 
3 Lich, level 1 Dark Ranger. Master, I finally get the healing self. Uh, however, how much gold, gold do we have? PCG has more gold, he has equal supply pretty much. Has decent items as well. It's still not over, this game is still anyone's game. Let's see, the TC gets a hood of cunning, not that great of an item. I don't like this item at all. There's just no hero that wants both agility and intelligence. Right, the Blade Master wants uh, agility, and all the other heroes they want strength and intelligence. So it's like the worst one item there. Oh, there's a nice uh, silence there on the, on the hero. Kill, nukes the TC who was so low, this grunt is dying as well. Nice dispel there on the, the speed scroll as well. Uh, another grunt is going to die here. There goes the Raider. What was the Blade Master doing? That's what we're all asking. What was he doing? He was just sitting at home, drinking clarity tea. Uh, oh, I guess he knew that with that uh, sentry word. PCG knew everything. He knew what was happening. PCG looks so good this game now. Uh, Frost Nova has this Godo. Kills that Godo. Blade Master just walking through. Just walking through. He has level 1 critical strike only. Level 2 wind walk. He's being nuked. Going for the altar. Now he's going for the burrow. Well, meanwhile, we have uh, Lin. Lin going for the base here for PCG. Uh, Blade Master going, killing this uh, acolyte. We have seven, we had seven acolytes. He had two extra acolytes. Which is afraid of the base race. The Blade Master, can he kill the Blade Master? Is it dusted? He is dusted. How long does this info potion last? Not long enough. Where's that Frost Nova? Oh, Cyclone. That is even, that's just not fair. And that isn't allowed to have Cyclone. That is, well, Blade Master, one more Cyclone. Do, do, do we have one more Cyclone? Is he still dusted? He's no longer dusted. And besides, the Lich was all the way in the back, so the Blade Master gets that way safely. Meanwhile, the TC is back, level three. Level three TC. With uh, 1k hit points. We're on the 15 mana. What is this? Is this the Kodo? That's a Kodo. And Cyclone there on the TC, so he cannot stomp. Uh, Blade Master being focused. Nice uh, focus there on the Grunt and the Scroll of the Beast being used. Both Kodos, they eat their dinner. A bit of bad micro there by PCG. That would have never happened if we saw like Happy or 120. Uh, two, co two fiends get eaten. Even one is pretty rare if we see a better player. This uh, feed went down. One color went down, of course. The other one's still alive. The Dark Rangers it had to be a bit careful. One more gun goes down. There was the last Cyclone, I believe. No more Cyclone. A coil's the Dark Ranger. Should probably kill this uh, Headhunter for a free skeleton. Uh, or, but uh, Blade Master being focused. Blade Master has to leave the battle. He gets dusted, but he was already very far away from the fight. And um, yeah, he's going for the Kodo. He's going for the Kodo. The Kodo still has a fiend in the stomach, so yeah, he knows exactly where he is. And there is that Kodo, and the fiend is uh, saved from the evil Kodo. Going for the altar now. The altar is pretty important because you know we all know he's going to kill more heroes, and if he kills the altar, means it's going to be uh, harder to get his heroes back. Hello, Choka. I think Undead will lose. You think so? I don't think so. Let's see, we have. Uh, do we have anything here? We have one healing wave, with one stomp. I don't. Uh, yeah. Okay, he kills the fiend, but the, he loses Kodo. TP's out for safety. I mean, I think Undead will probably lose the best of three. Lin will probably. Uh, he's probably still the favorite, the third map. Oh, by the way, I. Remove that in the pestle of three. It's one zero for Lin. <laughs> Choco. Choco. 
Yeah, I love I love chocolate. That's why I was called Chaco because it's so close to chocolate. Chaco. We have a lot of info potions. Two info potions on the Death Knight. One info potion on the Lich. No info potion on the Dark Ranger. I guess he's not afraid of the Dark Ranger dying. We have a Banshee as well, but Banshee is tanking and immediately goes down against uh, the Headhunters, against the Blade Master, against everything. Uh, but the Banshee did cast her curses on the Blade Master, so she did something nice from there. Info potion being used as well. Uh, we now have Berserkers. There goes the statue, this uh, destroyer. And as well, we have the the mod, the TC just doing so much damage there. I'm not sure why he just stood there next to the TC. The bull was just stomping. Destroyer does go down. Uh, Blade Master might get out, but the Banshee, Banshee survives. Uh, the Raiders going for the statue. They won't be able to get it in time. Lin, is, uh, Lin has a supply advantage there. I didn't lose anything. Maybe you were right, uh, Rebel Special. But here comes Blade Mask. Blade Mask goes for the statue. Uh, Stomp hit like only Dark Ranger. Now we have a fight Death Knight against the Blade Master. He used the miss. He missed. I mean, he uh, was about to critical strike, but he missed. Gets another healing wave. And now we have uh, Info Potion being used there on the Lich. But killing this Raider. The Raider will survive for now because of the speed scroll. The Kodo has, still has a uh, fiend in his stomach. It's just heroes here for. Ah, uh, oh, that. Koya was too late and the Lich died. GG. And here's the Warden here for uh, for Lolite. Oh. Our force is under attack. So this uh, Undead Wet versus Lolite. I don't know who Undead Wet is in the bracket or or did I know? Oh, yeah, no. no. But we know who Lolite is. The light has a level 5 warden here. She's killing all the acolytes. Meanwhile, what's happening in his base here? We have an AP AP. We have tri heroes here for undead. Nace the Eternal. 42 supply for the light. 39 for wet. Warden staffs home. Level 5 warden. With the Ankh as well. She just dies there. To the nuke. But the Ankh will save her. Come back with uh, plenty of hit points, some mana. What is this? We have a bunny here. Why is the bunny over here? The bear gets nuked. Oh, the light, by the way, no expansion. So 40 supply gets 46. He does have a supply advantage. Uh, but with the warden, we obviously see no expansion play because the warden, the warden can just fight against the uh, triune that hero and win it, which is pretty insane. By yourself. Is there any other hero that can do that? Any other hero that can win one, two, three. One against three. There's a nice uh, something. Foss armor. Foss armor on himself. Warden coming in here. She's gonna kill everything. Eventually. She has more mana. She can uh, use another shadow strike here. Nice uh, reveal there. Nice reveal on the feet and it. No, not to be. The warden has to be careful. Has to be careful. She's pretty long hit points. And we do still have a destroyer here and two statues. So the bears and the the tribes by themselves cannot fight. They need to back up off the warden. Without the warden, they cannot win the fight. There goes the archer. We still have this APIP over here. The warden drops down some items, uses some moon juice, uses a clarity potion. 42, 42 supply for undead wet. 47, 50 now for Loliat. Loliath, the warden, warden is here. She's uh, using some shadow strikes here on the death knight. Death knight does not have death pact. He's still level three. The warden being nuked, she's silenced. There's a there's a coil. She has to TP here. Well, or she TP there. Um, she might have uh, survived. Mostly because there's no more mana for Fosnova. Warden is very close to level 6. Level 6 Warden would be amazing. I want to see that uh, avatar. Maybe in the base here of Undead. Summon all those uh, little guys. How do you call them? Vengeance. Spirits of Vengeance. 
Guys are zero zero. Bears, same thing. Uh, destroyers are zero zero. Abominations also zero zero. What item did he just get? Class of deck was no. Legion two more. <laughs> Worst item, even worse than crystal ball. What's the score? I don't know the score. Can we? Uh, we maybe we can ask the Chinese chat. But we'll have some uh, action up here soon. Warden here. This blinks over on that army. She does get frost now, but let me see if uh, anyone mentioned the score. No one ever mentioned it. We could ask it, but it's gonna take too long. He kills a bear. With a nice coil. I mean, and that white isn't out of it yet. Uh, the warden kills some more acolytes. The warden is level. Is she level six now? She is level six. She also has a cat car's pipe of insight. Isn't that great on a warden? That's absolutely beautiful. That means she has so much mana. These bears have so much mana. These dryads have so much mana. These uh, moon wells. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, bronze aura doesn't work on moon wells. So they have just a normal normal amount of mana. You have to learn Chinese, Chaco? Yeah, I know. It's probably 1-0 for the light. Okay, here comes the warden again, and there she goes again. This is how it goes. She comes and she goes so fast. There is she gonna blink in again. There she is. Another Shadow Strike on this Death Knight. And there she goes again. Oh, she picked level 3 blink, by the way. No avatar. Death Knight very far in the back. He still has a healing potion. <laughs> there. She just blinked twice. Gets that uh, Shadow Strike on the Death Knight. And there she goes again. Could make a song about this warden. Use the info potion. Uh, doesn't look very good anymore for that right now. We have uh, a bunch of fake abominations though The one destroyer almost goes down the warden is just attacking whatever is in front of her She does have an orb and a lot of mana uh, Is she gonna nuke the death knight soon again? This one bear is pretty low. She stops at another uh, unit uh, Another shadow strike there on the death knight that bear went down. I guess uh, Well, I maybe I should take things back <laughs> that what's still doing just fine 57 supply against 50 Seven supply advance here for that, but here warden. Ha 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 ha! And there she goes again. That side has no more items. He has to be very careful now. The warden. Um, does she have mana? Warden. No mana. She had to go back home to uh, heal up. That side has to go bow home as well and heal up. Meanwhile, it's creeping. Warden, Warden cannot creep anymore. Or well, she can creep, but she doesn't get XP anymore. Maybe you should get a second hero? No, what about the Demon Hunter second? Wouldn't that be great? Demon Hunter second, just mana burn these heroes. Level one mana burn. Well, maybe you can creep into level three. Oh, there's a more nuke on this Death Knight. He does have Death Pack now though. Can eat an abomination or a fiend. Uses a healing potion. Gets nukes the warden. Actually hits the coil. How? Oh, healing ward. How can you actually hit a coil on a warden? I don't know. Should be uh, pretty difficult with all the blink. This healing ward is so nice. Look at this death knight. So, do you see his hit points? It's no longer very low. It's pretty uh, nice now. Bears crept over here, so I can build the expansion. Top of agility. Warden doesn't doesn't need it. Uh, Demon Hunter and Warden are divorced. Yeah, I mean, we never see them together. It's probably because they hate each other. A town is under siege. It'd be pretty awkward to have them on the same team. We don't we don't even see them against each other in Night of Mirror. We just never see them in the same game. Demon Hunter and Warden, unless maybe if you're playing four vs four RT, this uh, this Warden killing more acolytes. There's only one left. And another one. 
And there's a ghoul left. This ghoul is so dead. GG ghoul. Everything is dead, man. Once a warden is somewhere, everything that's not uh, allied with the warden is dead. Acolyte is dead. Not alive, not dead yet, but he's dead. There he goes. Demon, Demon Hunter with Naga. No, not Warden. Well, yeah. That's also how the story goes, right? Demon Hunter with the Naga. Well, we've seen another expansion here for Loliath. Double expansion. And his main is out of gold. So I'm, I'm sure he's gonna walk it over to this gold mine later. Oh, and that has no expansion at all. Kills the Moonwell though. Or doesn't kill the Moonwell. Moonwell survives a silence there on the, on the, how do you call it, the Warden. She's being nuked. She's very low on hit points. She heals a bit. One well, uh, Abomination goes down. The bear goes, well, actually the Abomination did not go down. But the bear went down. The Warden has to go back at home again. Man, so much damage output just for undead. Well, the Warden, I mean, the Warden is just a Warden. She doesn't have any backup damage output. This, uh, this healing ward is pretty pretty uh, nice here, healing these abominations. Should probably uh, move at least this abomination next to that healing ward. There. I think he could have uh, maybe gotten some more use out of that healing ward. Was trying to, uh, I don't know, kill the warden maybe? But you cannot kill a warden unless you silence her and you call a nova her, like he just did. Isn't Dark Ranger totally useless because of the Dryads? Nah, nah, not really. Because, uh... I'm not sure if you can have a high enough reaction speed. Right, you si just as Rebel Special says, you should silence Koyo Nova. And I don't think the Dryads will auto-abolish the, the, the silence before the Koyo Nova hits. I mean the Nova is not that important of course, but the coil, if you can, if you have blink, you can dodge the coil, you cannot dodge the Nova, but you can dodge the coil, and that's what the silence is for. Eclite uh, is going down, the main is going down, but here is the defense force for undead, Warden just blinking around, blinking around, killing more acolytes. There goes that acolyte. The warden is hidden. She has a TP. Uh, used to dust, she has a TP. Uh, so this expansion, I don't think has been scouted yet here by Undead. Where is the Tree of Eternity? It's over here. Warden keeping some more. She wants some better uh, items, maybe. Or maybe she just hates, hates Murlocs. This Warden! She hates all the murlocs. Look at this. She's just killing them for no reason. A little bit of gold, maybe. Maybe to deny the undead from creeping it later. There's still plenty of creeps left. Ooh, and the undead's going for this base. I don't think Lolai can fight. How many bows? Three abominations and two statues. The warden is just going to kill more acolytes. Uh, base race, of course, can be won still by Lolai. Oh, two sappers. Um, are they both going for the Black Citadel or is it going for these towers, the Ziggurats? Okay. Man, we'll probably die here. Do we have a DP here for Undead? No TP. This uh, Tree of Eternity does go down though. Actually, if uh, how much gold does Lolite have? Not a lot. If Undead just finds this base and kills it, I think Undead still has a pretty good chance here. Another Sapper. Look at this Sapper. Boom. Ah. Lion's Warden hiding over here on the top. He's over here. Now she's over here. She goes all, all over the place. Did he just lure uh, Undead into this expansion? Is he actually gonna check for this expansion? Oh, he's being blocked by the piggy. But he does find the expansion. 
He didn't. He assumed there would not be there would not be an expansion. He was already walking back, but he just wanted to check just for just in case. Finds the expansion, and he kills it. What does he see? He see, he has a destroyer scouting over here. He will kill this expansion. Do we actually have a base race? Avatar, did he retrain to Avatar? He did not retrain to Avatar. He just got no. He did retrain to Avatar. Level two shadow strike. What? Okay. Oh, he only needed like 51 more XP and he could have just gotten the uh, the avatar, but I guess he really needed to get his avatar ASAP, get this base race going. It was definitely worth the 300 gold, I think. Here we have a uh, defense, the defense force for and that. The avatar running for his life is all well, or her life or whatever it is, it's life. Um, it's being nuked a little bit, but it will survive these uh, little spirits. They don't do that much damage against buildings uh, What is this destroyer getting uh, attacked this dry at 99 hit points? But the mana point ain't one or something great No, no way on that winces you think so, but there's no uh There's no, there's no basis anymore for Night Elf. No income for Night Elf. And there's no way Loliath can win this with a base race. Although, can he? See, some of these buildings are already pretty low. Actually, most of them are pretty low. The graveyard with the most hit points at 738. But remember, we don't have a single bear. Okay, we have a single bear. We don't have any... Any... Yeah. We do have one bear. We have an avatar, of course. Mm. I mean, I don't want to say that has the advantage, but I do think he has his chance still. If uh, Lolai screws up, loses a warden, loses maybe some dryads, loses a bear. <laughs> he deserves this. <laughs> and that deserves this. Yeah, what he really should have done, of course, is uh, got a zeppelin. So he wouldn't lose all his acolytes to that uh, to the warden. Definitely knows exactly where the that uh, where the knight of army is. Is he going by himself with the lich? That's pretty risky, I want to say. Does have an info potion there on the death knight? The lich is being nuked. There's a nice coil, but that's only one. Okay, I guess it's I guess it's fine. Tries to zero damage. Oh, here's a little the Naga again. Uh, no Naga. Warden with the rejuvenation. It's gonna be the last rejuvenation for a while. Summons the Avatar as well. How much mana on this uh, warden? Switch the targets to the Death Knight. Death Knight stops out. This stops out. Oh, I didn't realize he has a staff on both heroes. Warden, the pretty low hit points. And remember, there's no more rejuvenation, only 45 mana here on this bear. He does have Bruins Aura though, so it goes up pretty fast. And then he will have one more rejuvenation destroyer, just scouting around. I think uh, maybe Undead has to take a bit bigger risk. Oh, we have a Tree of Life here. Undead should have maybe taken a bit bigger risk and just left his main base. Not just gone with the Death Knight in a Lich there. Just going with his entire army. Could have killed so much. Maybe the warden. But if he's just sitting in his base. Well, he, he gives the night of. He gives the light opportunities like this tree of life. Tree of uh, life of Lolayet. And he surrounded the spirit. He's surrounded. I killed this building. More murlocs. Of course, the bodies for the, for the murlocs, the avatar can use to send more uh, spirits to them that base. Kill these, kill these buildings. Did he find him? Why nobody uses the Potom? She has nice damage with fire arrows and strong ranged aura. 
you see the problem now now and then but um, I guess not that often we block these uh, spirit, spirit things spirits um, I don't know the problem is just uh, not good enough <laughs> that's all I can say <laughs> it doesn't add enough damage Jeez. not that uh, first all it's not that strong in a one on one versus other heroes. You need to have a ranged army. These statues. Can he actually get one of these statues? Is, uh, these statues are so important. Oh, they find the warden. She's silenced. She got nuked. Can she get killed? And where the, where's the dispel? Where's the dispel? There's a dispel. Ooh, pretty low warden. The bear will go down here. For sure. And uh, we have a three destroyers just killing this entangled gold mine. Warden is very low on hit points, but it has been night for some time. She kept doing plenty of this moon juice. Blinks in. Nom 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 nom. Where is it? Or, or whatever. What what sound do you make when you drink? It's not nom. It's more like I don't know. I know it in Dutch. In Dutch, it's slurp, 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 slurp. Or Glock. Is it Glock? I think it's Glock in uh, English. Glock, 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 Glock. Town is under siege. Town is under siege by destroyers. They just make sure this entangled gold mine never gets up. Warden is over here. We have the avatar. If you can intercept the avatar. Players' forces are under attack. With the drives defending here, the destroyers won't be able to kill this entire gold mine anymore. What's the warden doing? She sold something? No, she didn't. Maybe she bought something. Light sells 400 gold. Can build more bears. One more bear. Here we have an, uh, an attack. Both the avatar and the, uh, the, the warden. Silence on the warden, he's going for the warden. If he can kill this warden, his uh, Lich and his Death Knight are killing uh, Dryad, so... Oh, these statues are in danger. These statues, one of them falls. It's a pretty big deal. The second one is gonna fall as well. And uh, how many Dryads have we killed here so far? Only one so far. What are the destroyers doing? Maybe he should've sent the destroyers home. Did he lose the destroyer? I only see two destroyers. I'm not sure if he was at uh, 51 supply earlier, but now he's at 46. Dark Ranger. Ooh, this uh, Dark Ranger is in trouble. Warden can easily kill her. Silent. There goes the Dark Ranger. This is uh, pretty bad for Undead. Of course, uh, well, there goes the Death Knight. He still has the Info Potion. We'll have to use it, but what happens after his info potion runs out? You need to move his abomination to the, abom uh, to the death knight so he can eat the abomination. Oh, now he dies, and GG, the Lion wins this game. We're under attack. We're under attack. Blade Master killing this ogre. Look at him. Critical striking for 76 damage. Let's see some more crits, Mr. Blade Master. He has a close of attack plus six. He has a circlet. 74 critical strike there on this ogre. In interesting crits there. Let's see some more crits. Show me show me the crits. Okay. She gets the sentry wards. That's a really nice item here for Shao KK. Death Knight here still level two. Two circlets. Okay, okay. Pretty nice for the Death Knight. But not, not so nice for the Lich. Want some class for the Lich. Here, he plays the sentry word over here. There's a shadow hunter, shadow hunter's out. Lich is not out yet, the Lich is but uh, later. A player's forces are under attack. Just for creeping the here, let's see what item he gets. He wants an XP tome. He gets a tome of XP, which is actually exactly what I uh, said he wanted. And it's Mogul the Sly. I know all of you hate this hero, but uh, yeah, Shao KK. He was blessed with Mogul the Sly. 78 critical strike on that fiend. 
and the shadow hunter creeping here at the center. Did he get the big item already? Yeah, so it's just uh, the small little, the two small ogres and the two four soul trappers, the bait master here, fighting against the skeleton. Can he get the skeleton? Of course, he walks faster. The skeleton running for his life or his own life. He does go down. Shadow hunter with four grunts, by the way, four grunts. There's a lot of grunts. Go to fortress, war mill. Joker sink, nothing uh, special here. Okay, here comes a lich. Lich and a death knight. We have uh, slaughterhouse up. A lot of new rods of necromancy. Okay, okay, he probably wants to creep this creep camp. What is Lucifer doing? Does he see him? Does he see Shao KK? He does see him. And Shao KK just starts creeping. Lucifer just comes in, coils the Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter is so low on hit points. Frost armor on the Death Knight, so he's safe to do whatever he wants. Shadow Hunter does get away safely for now. And we see uh, Raider dying there. Lucifer. Pretty good position here. Killing the Raider, that's pretty nice. Has another one out. It does have a snare. What item did he get over here? Parry up. Parry up for the Death Knight. Getting some more of these little kobolds. Seven hundred still level one. No healing wave. Blade Master still level two only. No level two critical strike. This this fiend though. This fiend is so dead. And Lucifer TP is out. Level two Shadow Hunter. And uh, there's a TP. But overall, I think it was very good for Lucifer. He can now buy the orb. He will be in a very nice uh, position for the next fight. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, some of these Murlocs are going to die. In fact, all of them are going to die. He starts with killing the baby Murlocs. Look at this tiny baby fin. One of them dead already. Now the single one. So cool to the parents. They see their... Their babies die before their eyes. That's why people hate Mogul the Sly. It's just so cruel. Two claws of attack. Burklet. Master, not weak. Not weak at all. He did go level 2 Windwalk. Which is uh, interesting. You often see it against Undead, level 2 Windwalk. But on this map, this map, you often don't even get your level 4 Death Knight. Uh, level 4 Blade Master, meaning that uh, you never get level 2 Critical Strike, meaning that your Blade Master is just useless. Useless Blade Master. Level 1 Critical Strike is useless. In a fight, of course. Big fight. Buying Invul is important on this map. It's true, there's only one uh, one shop. So map control, shop control is so important. No one has bought it yet. But don't forget, you sometimes can buy this one as well. So it's 400 gold, it's 15 seconds. Sometimes you have a second option. I feel like especially in the Orc first Night Elf, it's definitely worth it. 400 gold for the 15 seconds. In the other matchups, you probably still want uh, the smaller one, the 150 gold one. No TP here for Lucifer. And what do we see here? We see a bunch of raiders walking into his base. They don't have pillage yet. He's not getting pillage. So no pillage, but they are going to kill some buildings. Four raiders even. So many raiders here for Shao KK. He's just going for this base that stall. No, uh, yeah, more raiders. Only has three grunts getting the attack upgrade. He doesn't even want to fight. Here's the TP, he just runs away. I think the slaughterhouse was nice. Uh, how's Lucifer gonna handle this? Oh, he kills one raider. Lucifer needs, uh, needs shades. He needs maybe... What else could he get? Phosphorms? Phosphorms or shades or both. Uh, this expansion going up. Okay, he's gonna kill some more raiders. And the Shadow Hunter, oh no, the ghoul, the ghoul was walking in front of the Shadow Hunter, but he didn't block the Shadow Hunter. 
Let the Shadow Hunter go so the Shadow Hunter will survive. This Grunt uh, is going to take too long to kill. Well, there's only two Raiders here. He could maybe hunt down the Grunt. Or maybe hunt down more Raiders. They're going to his base, so I think uh, the Raiders better choice here. We see Ghoul friends. He's going Ghouls to defend against the Raiders. We only have two Raiders. Did he kill three Raiders? Did he really kill three Raiders? No, there's one over here. I think he only killed two Raiders. There's another speed school. Where is that? Uh, there's no destroyers. Doesn't have to upgrade. This grunt is dead. Of course, in this type of situation, you can use your coils very aggressively. In fact, you have to. Nothing to save, really. Only the Blade Master sometimes kills a unit here and there. But it's more important that you kill the units of Orc. Uh, the Ghoul found this exp expansion. But what is he going to do about it? How is he going to play this game? Why is a TP on the Lich? Remember, there's a raider over here. It used to be a, a, a ward, sentry ward, but I guess it's no longer there. The raider, he finds the raider. The raider is dead. But of course, the orc immediately walks into his base. A player's forces are under attack. Wait, what is he? Uh, oh, blade master. A town blade master going for this fiend. He's just going to sacrifice the fiend. Oh, he, he's going to burrow the fiend, but sacrificing the fiend, going for the expansion, going to lose some some buildings in his base. He does have uh, three ghouls. Never upgraded this to spirit tower. He will lose his crypt. Three ghouls can defend a little bit. We have pillage now. Pillage. We got one a bracket. Uh, <laughs> bracket. Uh, emote, not emote. How do you call it? Uh, bracket thing, command would be the same as a grid. It master silences uh, these ghouls don't go, go down. Hey, Neutron, how have you been? Uh, I mean, yeah, how have I been? I've been uh, great. How have you been? I could, I can ask that. How have you been, Neutron? I've been doing great. We have the GCS, of course. We have the very nice games today, so much better than yesterday and day before. Blade Master. Goes for the statue. So uh, he killed a few peons there. Grunt and three peons. Before he had to TP. He just sends the, grunt, uh, the, the ghouls over now. You see him crypt being rebuilt. I've been okay. Struggling with life. Sounds... Uh, Town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. Sounds like you're doing just fine. You're doing okay. This cool this cool is going to die here. Two grunts attacking it. We have the spear throwing spears at the, the I mean the bro throwing spears at the ghouls. One survived with like five hit points. 47 against 51. The rates are one and zero. Yeah, so the shop there in the center. Blade Master does have that orb by the way. Probably had it already for quite some time. Okay, find some ghouls. Can he kill a ghoul? Can we coil it? Can we do something about it? He coils the blade master. The ghoul goes down. Blade master is still alive. And uh, well, these some of these units might fall. I don't think he can engage engage here with the dead over here with Lucifer over here. This were forty seven supply, fifty one here for Shao KK. Hey Chaco, what do you think? Why Blizzard added those sheep, pigs, etc. on each and every map? Yeah, I do believe it's uh, mostly so that Undead can summon skeletons with the world of necromancy. Also, they're just cute. They're cute, that's why. For immersion, also, all, of course. Blade Master kills that uh, ghoul. Immersion as an anxiety PB set, you know, makes it more real. You know, if you walk around on a map, you'd see some sheep, right? You'd see some piggies. You'd see some uh, birdies. I 
let's see. This we're going uh can I kill something here? He needs to kill more. But the raiders just so many raiders. Necropolis gets killed or cancelled or whatever. We have a slaughterhouse being built. This war has to TP home again. And he only gets to kill maybe one scout tower, one guard watchtower, I should say. These uh the TP out here for for uh, what's his face? Xiao KK. What do we have over here? The tower over here as well, that Clyde sees it. This tower didn't even go down, the watchtower is still up. Let's see if we can make him explode. A player's forces are under attack. Come on, Raccoon. Please explode for me. Please. We have expansion for Lucifer. Interesting. Makes sense. Makes sense, actually. Maybe you should have built an expansion some time ago. Come on. Come on, Raccoon. I know you, you have it in you. I know you can do it. Raccoon, please. Raccoon doesn't want to explode. We have uh, raiders, grunts, uh, I mean not grunts, peons, no. How do you call them ghouls? Ghouls fighting against raiders. 49 against 52. How much money does Shao KK has? 800. Maybe he can get a pretty strong army at this point. Going for spirit walkers. A player's forces are Only works in single player. Yeah, I, I know, I know. But the, the funny thing is, even if it worked in multiplayer, it would still not work because I'm like an observer. I'm an observer, so. Anyway, we have a fight here between the Death Knight and the Raiders. Uh, the Death Knight wins the fight. Oh, we have the rest of the Undead Army here as well. The Blade Master doing some harassment over here. Going for the Haunted Gold Mine. Here we have the, the Ghouls and the Skeletons fighting against the Raiders. One Ghoul does fall. Saves his expansion for now, but uh, he loses his ghouls, loses his second ghoul. Ditch is going back home. This can defend by himself. And a blade master. What's he gonna buy here? Info potion? There it is, info potion! Hunter buying some uh, healing, healing, healing. Getting <laughs> some skeletons. Great, great game. I mean, I uh, I say it's a great game. I don't, but I'm not a big fan of these games. These base race type of games, I think they're stupid. Especially for orc. Especially for orc, we have uh, two towers up, two burrows. There's the Spirit Walker, there's a Kodo. Really entertaining in game. Dot 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 dot. Do you know Centauran? Yeah, I know Centauran. Okay, the altar here going down. Going down pretty fast. Four raiders. Only four raiders though. Where are the other raiders? He had like seven or eight before. Okay, here they are. Surprise! So uh we need Lucifer to split up his army. There goes a ghoul, there goes two ghouls. Look at all these uh, people leaving the the game. Fly, Infi, TH. All leaving the game because it's so boring. I mean, not boring. I mean, it's because they have uh, maybe better games going alive. Kills two raiders. Uh, this this raider over here going down as well. Okay, this is pretty good by Lucifer actually. Killing those three raiders, not losing this expansion. Only lose, lost an altar here. That was actually pretty good. But he's 27 supply behind. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't look so so uh, good here for Lucifer in the long term. We have uh, Wyverns, we have more Grunts. Hmm. Do you consider him as a pro? No, of course not. Centaurian is a streamer. Not a, pro not a professional player. Uh, I think Shao KK army is on Lucifer army now. Yeah, probably. Lucifer only has 54 supplies. 23 supply behind. 23. We have three Kodos. 
But what about the hero levels? Did he get enough XP here to get insane hero levels? Level 4 Death Eye, level 3 Lich, level 2 Dark Ranger. Probably not enough, no, not enough. Uh, use the dust, maybe a hero kill, maybe if he kills the Blade Master, but the beautiful storm there, uh, say in the uh, info potion, means that Blade Master is still alive. This fiend is going down. Dark Ranger is tanking all the damage by herself. In fact, she fell because he was nuking the Blade Master, doesn't care about the Dark Ranger to. Dark Ranger can fall in hell or something. There goes that fiend, there goes that destroyer, GG. There it is, 0 0. Arkman is creeping over here. Here the Blade Master kills, gets a nice circlet. It's a uh, best of three. It's actually a three. It says a three. I guess uh, it's pretty small. A player sport. But, yeah, that's a three. The arc range, by the way, grab this first. It's a pretty interesting creep out, by the way. Normally you see them creep this first. Jumiko just started keeping with uh, that creep camp. A ring of protection, not that great of an item for the Archmage. The Blade Master here with the circlet. Hunting down, maybe this footman is gonna buy boots? No, circlet? Uh, boots is still too early, isn't it? Yeah, it's way too early. Way too early. So, uh, circlet, yeah, circlet is nice. Goes for this footman. Here, the Archmage with some footman uh, walking around. Keeping here with the militia. Okay, it's level 2 on the Archmage. Blade Master still level 1, only uh, has 92 XP of course, which is uh, this Ogre and maybe something else. I don't know what else. Maybe he got a Footman, I don't know. Or maybe they ruined their hand because they played too much Warcraft 3 and they can't play anymore, how about that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's also a reason of course, health reasons, sometimes... Uh, that stops players as well. Archmage here uh, will creep this creep camp. Landazer, level 2. Mazuru, level 1. Landazer though. Okay, I, I, won't, I won't really comment on which races I think are... Uh, which race is the strongest, but I will comment on which heroes are the best, right? Because Landazer is definitely the best Archmage. He's he's pretty uh, pretty good Archmage to have. But Mazuru is kind of more like it's slightly above average, but it's far from the best. Far from the best Blade Master here for uh, for Lin. But of course, uh, we haven't seen Lin play in a while. Maybe Lin is better with different heroes than like Fly is. Maybe Lin is better with Mazuru. Fine, focus. Oh, can he get his water elemental? He does get XP and the, wow, two water elementals there to the blade master. That's just 84 XP for hardly any effort. What, what a discount! Discount for that uh, XP. And but he does serve his footman, of course. The blade master still level one, though. We have boots here on the archmage for footman, and the archmage just uh, right clicking that Mizuru. Another footman comes in. Master is still alive. Still alive, of course. Still fighting. Seven hunters out. Um, nothing special here. The tier two normal orc base build. How many grunts did he make actually? Because he bought a circlet. Did he buy? He didn't buy boots. I don't see. Uh, don't see his grunts actually. Where are his grunts? We're under attack. Here they are. Two grunts. Only two grunts. Meanwhile, what do we have over here? We have a Mount King, we have our Arcane Sanctums. Okay. Well, so, oh, can he hunt down that uh, Blade Master? That's a nice storm, but he needs one footman in the front of the Blade Master. What is he doing? Yumiko, please, don't you know how to kill Blade Master? You move a footman in, in front of his feet so he can't move anymore. He's blocked. Meanwhile, Shadowhunter creeping over here. Two grunts and the Shadowhunter. Takes some time to kill these creeps. Here comes the Blade Master. He has to be careful now that there's a Mount King. He was he healed back up. Do we have a dust? No, the Blade Master just uh, gets it for free. Level 2 Blade Master now. Nice. Thanks. Blade Master says thanks. 
uses a dust here but misses it. There's no Blade Master around. Gets some illusions. Let's see, does the Blade Master see where Yumiko is going? I think so. Yeah, he, he sees the human army. Goes to the center. Uh, what do we have here? More more footmen, more priests. Oh, he maybe can kill this priest. Oh, he's slow though. Well, Yumiko is creeping over here. Meanwhile, what level was the Shadow Hunter? What items did he get? Uh, illusions so far. Level 2 still. Archmage against Blade Master. Who wins that fight? Well, usually the Blade Master. Archmage against Peon. He's hunting down this Peon. He gets a storm, a storm bolt on the Peon. Dust again misses the Blade Master because Blade Master is out there in the safety of. Uh, Oh, the, the map far away from the human army. We have a level 3 arc base now. Level 2 Mountain King. Uh, no. Level 1 Mountain King. What item did Mr. Shadowhunter get? What item did he get? Boots of Quotalas! Oh my god, that's so insane. This Blade Master now is so strong. Plus 10 agility. is 35 agility. He attacks very fast. He moves, uh, well, as fast as always. But he, uh, he does a lo lot of damage. Almost killing the priest in two hits. That's just, uh, and the raider just helping to, to kill off that uh, that priest. This is just the blade master. Uh, although he's still level 2. So I guess uh, he's not as strong yet as a level 3 blade master would be with the same items. Like if he gets level 3, level 2 critical strike will do so much damage. Look at this, 106 damage, 100 damage critical strike. Just l right immediately after that. Uh, two footmen died there. Three footmen in fact, and the priest. I'm not sure if uh, Yubiko killed anything. In fact, he lost another footman over here as well. So four footmen and a priest for nothing. And why? Why is it so one-sided? Because of these boots of Quatalas. It's just so insane. This item is so insane. It's the best item in the game. Here comes the Blade Master. He got the... Uh... No, it was Illusion. Yumiko starts screaming over here, Lin, <laughs> or Yumiko is just a noob, right? I, I don't know, like, what can you do against Blade Master with Boots of Quarter the last in this matchup? If you don't go Blood Mage, maybe uh, if he, if he had went Blood Mage was a different story. But with Mountain King, I guess maybe once he has a level 3 Mountain King, level 2 Stormbolt will help him a lot. Mountain King has the uh, two Rings of Protections and the Talisman of Evasion, he's pretty sturdy. And he also has Bash, of course. So the Mountain King against the Blade Master. Maybe now he has a chance. Blade Master is level th 3. Did take level 2 Critical Strike. Let's see what item he gets over here. And of course, Yumiko will creep this one, right? No, I was wrong. Yumiko instead is going to creep Jack. Yeah, he's going for the creep Jack. Went over 50 supply. He does have, uh, what does he have? Almost level 3 Mountain King. But after he kills a raider, maybe he gets a level 3 Mountain King. A uh, uh, stone. Not that good of an item, but it's alright. Oh, look at this, another boost of quota. Last, what is happening this game? This is, this is not fair. This Blade Master is too strong. It's not fair. This uh, raider goes down. We have level 3 Mountain King. God, is gonna eat something. Like something tasty, like a spellbreaker maybe. Oh, it gets storm bolted and all the militia, they're gonna kill this uh, Kodo. Blade Master is killing everything in front of him. Um, like this militia. Uh, plus uh, 22 damage. Very fast attack speed. Going for the spellbreaker. The spellbreaker is dead. We still have plenty of, uh, or a few healing waves. A nice storm bolt killing this grunt, but the Blade Master kills uh, your units faster than the Mountain King kills the Orc units. This, this grunt is still alive. A nice bash there. Maybe you should bash the Blade Master. Start bashing the Blade Master to uh, make sure your units don't die. There's a nice Stormbolt there on the, the Troll and a TP out there for Yumiko. However, this uh, Yumiko, I mean, he lost more than he killed. He lost more than he killed, yeah. Do you think Mikasa would ever would ever marry a Sorceress? Mikasa and a Sorceress? Um, uh, no, I don't think so. Sorceress is kind of too strong. Uh, of a girl and uh, like a, a powerful girl powerful woman that's not really the type that Mikasa likes Mikasa likes uh, like a useless type of person or useless <laughs> a more uh, how do you call it 
submissive, submissive uh, lover. That's Mikasa's type. Here we have uh, Lin retreating here. He can easily win this game, win this fight. Do you have towers? Do you have militia? I don't know what is what's Yumiko even doing. He's just attacking with like two units and his uh, weak heroes. He's just he has given up this game. I don't know, like. Is he even planning to win it with this? Like he doesn't even call militia. But he knows he cannot win this game. I think he just knew. Like he saw the blade master. He saw the two boots of quad the last. The two circlets. He knew. Like okay, this game's over. GG. But he just uh, came here to throw away the game. I think. <laughs> I think at least. I mean, Yumiko is still in the game. I mean, he's in the game. He doesn't stand a chance. He's still in the game. There goes the water elemental. Now this uh, source is going down here. It's going for the Mountain King next. And the Mountain King is pretty hard to kill, even with only 300 hit points. He still has the info potion as well. Uh, this uh, spellbreaker will fall for sure. There it is, finally, it's GG. In the purple, we have, we do have Lin. In the orange, Yumiko. One zero up. Let's see. Do we have an Archmage? Yes, we do see an Archmage. Do we see a Blade Master? Yes, we do see a Blade Master. Go, go, Lin. Everyone's cheering for Lin. Because uh, last GCS, we didn't have any Orcs in the top eight. No, that's not true. We didn't have any Orcs in the top six. So, uh, yeah. We need Lin in the next GCS to do well because we cannot rely on Fly anymore. Focus we never could rely on. Go Lin. We need you. Everyone needs you. A footman here retreating. Archmage creeping over here. Gets a nice uh, Im a nice uh, one of illusion. Again Yumiko with the interesting creep route. Didn't creep this. Went for the, sh the this one. Marketplace. Lin owns fly, owns focus. I I don't think you can say that easily, because online I think, for example, focus is uh, probably just as good as Lin and, and fly. And if we're talking about uh, and and Lin and fly, sometimes I feel like fly is better. Sometimes I feel feel Lin is better. Just depends on their. Uh, on who, yeah, on the, the how do you say who, who's playing better recently? Anyway, the Blade Master did some damage here against the Footman. He does have a nice gloss of haste for the Water Elemental. Need to XP meanwhile the Archmage. Buy some boots, boots for the Archmage. It's gonna creep this maybe. Blade Master so far away. He, he knows with the Water Elemental that the Blade Master is so far away. I'm not sure if the Blade Master uh, overcommitted there on killing that water elemental because because of killing that water elemental he gave so much XP here to Yumiko. Blade Master, uh, yeah, he's here now. Let's see if he can do something. Oh, almost got a Virtual Trapper. He will be able to get his last one unless Windwalk runs out. No, Windwalk does not run out. Okay, he gets the last Virtual Trapper. He's so close to level two. Now we have Footman against the uh, Blade Master. Run blocking this uh, Footman over here. This Footman is going to fall. Can he deny it? He does deny. Beautiful deny there. So the Blade Master is still level 1. That was such an important deny. If the Blade Master got level 2, he'd be a lot stronger. But uh, yeah, the deny keeps him level 1. Blade Master, chopping up the Archmage, but the Archmage does have boots, so the Archmage is safe. Oh, we have a pause here by Yumiko. I was wondering why he was not microing his Archmage at all. I know he was safe, but he was just standing there. Probably something happened, maybe his mouse broke, maybe uh, his mom called, maybe he has to, maybe the IRS knocks on his door and he's like, you haven't been paying taxes for the last 10 years. And he's like, well, I live in China, I don't have to pay taxes. That's not how it works, by the way. But the uh, Blade Master goes down. 
And the arc mage TP's out. Arc mage defended by footman and militia. He needs the shop, he's building the shop, he's tier 2. Going for Mountain King? Yeah, Mountain King. Come on, Yumiko, I thought you played Blood Mage. Didn't Yumiko play Blood Mage? Or is it only. Oh no, you played Blood Mage first, right? Not Blood Mage second. I know Romantic plays a lot of Blood Mage second. I thought Yumiko was a similar player. <laughs> like this. <laughs> like this wall. <laughs> like this is the wall of uh, China, the Great Wall of China. Archmage is safe. This uh, this grunt, a very risky grunt here. He could easily get surrounded. And uh, sure, the Archmage would be able to get attacked then, but he can just uh, buy a healing potion. There's the panda. But he's tier 2, so the Archmage is never going to die. Look at this, so nice here by Yumiko. Just keeping his Archmage safe. So safe. He used that mouse malfunction, malfunction to think about the situation. Yeah. He was like, okay, what? how do I kill the Archmage? How do I kill the Blade Master? Then TP out. Okay, the Blade Master is finally level 2. Of course he was level 1, so he got back in a second. Um, this gun gets healing self cancelled, but there's the surround on the on the footman. The Blade Master in trouble again. Is he gonna die again? He used his Peace Call, but how much longer does it last? He doesn't have the boots on the Mount King, I believe. Oh, what do we have here? Wyvern? Do we have a Wyvern? We have uh, one Wyvern. Okay. One Wyvern. Wyvern is going into the base of Yumiko. Pretty smart, I guess, one Wyvern. Because uh, it does force your opponent to build a tower. But uh, do we have more Stormbolt? We have more Stormbolt. No, he doesn't kill anything. Okay. Don't kill anything. Sure, I guess you you might you keep the stormbolt for the wyvern. The sorceress slows the wyvern. The archmage throws some fireballs on the wyvern. Summons a water elemental to kill the wyvern. The wyvern is pronounced wyvern. Um, is uh, is flying over the trees. Flying over the trees. No shadow hunter. That's right. No shadow hunter. The panda, not as good as Shadow Hunter. I think he went for the panda because he thought he had the chance there to kill the Archmage. In which case it would have definitely been worth it. But now that he didn't kill the Archmage, I think the panda is not as good as Shadow Hunter. Not even nearly as good, especially not with Blade Master first. Oh, he went for the Arcane Tower. I guess Arcane Tower is still good enough to hold off a Wyvern. Uh, Arcane Tower also has more range than a Guard Tower. Since there's only one Wyvern. 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 There's only one Wyvern. Uh, the one uh, Arcane Tower is enough. Okay, uh, Yumko also creeps this creep camp. Doesn't get the Sasquatch in time. Here's Lin, level 2 Blade Master, level 2 Tatsa. Tatsa Sweet Barrow, the panda. Archmage isn't level 3 yet, very close. Mount King is gonna steal this Sasquatch. No! No. <laughs> too early with that Stormbolt. I mean, too early, it was just nice here by Lin. He wasn't planning to do more than uh, put that creep under 100 hit points. No level 3 Archmage. Do we have a fight here? Uh, we have still have this one Wyvern. Blade Master going for the priest. The priest is in trouble. The sorcerer is also in trouble. Getting killed by raiders. The Wyvern, uh, Wyvern does survive. Are you kidding me? 13 hit points. Another priest might fall here. Yes, it does fall. The footman pretty low on hit points because of those breath. No, I haven't seen a breath of fire yet. Uh, the Spellbreaker here as well, just helping the Militia against the Peons, who wins this fight? Oh, the Peons decide to retreat, they don't want to fight this, the Blade Master kills another Footman. Uh, the Spellbreaker dying to Grunts. This Raider here will fall though. The Militia are finally helping the rest of the human army out, they stop fighting those Peons. There goes that uh, Spellbreaker, now we have a level 3 Panda, okay, he was saving the, the Panda for the level 2 Breath of Fire. And now he can kill everything, so 
fast so nicely so easily everything just dying here for Oracle of course not uh, for Oracle for Yubico of course uh, though Yubico did kill one Raider there gonna lose one more footman and this peasant as well did the Wyvern ever die or is he still alive I don't see it maybe he somehow died I don't know you would call 32 supply, Lin at 43. And that OP. And that, how can you, how can you start talking about and that OP? There's not even a dad in this uh, game. Mountain King uh, creeping over here, still level 2. Orphanage level 3. Blade Master level 3. Panda level 3. Oh, here, the Wyvern's still alive here. It's going to be difficult here for Yumiko. And in fact, if they fight right now, does it stand a chance? No chance. At all. And here comes the fight. Okay. Uh, the fake Mountain King gets dispelled, the Water Elemental also got a little bit dispelled. We have another fake Mountain King over there, who is still uh, alive and fighting for his uh, army. Fighting for the human army. Okay, the fake Mountain King goes down. And I guess he avoided the fight for now. So maybe he can go up to 50 supply here, get some more Spellbreakers. Meanwhile, Lin saving up a lot of money. Actually, just went over 50. Gets a Spirit Walker, gets a Raider. It's gonna be um, pretty one sided, I believe. Nice, uh, nice Lightning Shield here on the Spirit Cow. Curse Bone Chimes. Again, a very good item. Last game, he got two boots of cloth to last. This game, he gets Curse Bone Chimes. Not that it matters, he's 12 supply up. Uh, killing the water elemental is easy, easy peasy. Of course, he doesn't have a shadow hunter, so the, he has to be a bit more careful with the blade master. But okay, just as I say that, he just walks out by himself in front, but it's fine because uh, the mountain king just used stormbolt on the wyvern, so the blade master is free to do whatever he wants. 147 critical strike. Look at his health going up faster than it goes down. Now, not now that he's stormbolted, can he kill? The blade master. He used the healing potion. We nice and some bashes, some bashes, some more bashes. It would be nice. Uh, maybe a Stormbolt. There goes the Blade Master. But uh, we do have a double supply here, pretty much, of Lin over Yumiko. And the Panda is still alive, level 4 Panda. And Yumiko has nothing besides his two heroes who are going to die as well because the Raiders here. They're still Raiders. They can still unsnare units. Uh, the Raiders retreat. At least get the Spellbreaker Raider or the, or the Archmage. Yeah, the Archmage is fine. Just get the Archmage, use the Haste. Uses the Breath of Fire, kills the Archmage, level 5 Panda, GG, 0-0, zero, zero. I believe this is the first game, I believe so, because I didn't see any earlier, any game, I didn't see them play earlier, but we might have missed a game here, but I think it's 0-0, zero, zero. oh look at this Demon Hunter, three, three circlets, here on the Demon Hunter, Blade Master has the Ring of Protection and the circlet, we have uh, more cows, more, more cows. We have cows from the Spirit Lodge and cows from the TC here. For Shao KK, of course. Uh, <laughs> nothing special there, just normal. Wait, we have a level 2 Demon Hunter, level 1 Blade Master. The Demon Hunter has such better items. No more archers though. Does he, uh, Dudes of the Talon? Okay, he's building Dudes of the Talon. Here comes the Demon Hunter, just going straight for the Mana Burn on that Spirit Walker. Then he's going for the TC, which hasn't picked Endurance Aura yet. He's not picking a Durns or another nice mana burn there on the Spirit Walker. No Spirit Link. There's the Raider out as well. Mana burns to TC. The Piggy, what's the Piggy going to do? Maybe cancel this healing self. Nice cancel there. Nice healing self cancel. And now it's just gonna run into the base of, uh, of Shao KK. Now it's just gonna run out of the base of Shao KK. This piggy, so decisive. He knows exactly what he wants. He wants to go on a holiday across the map. Just a walking holiday. This is one of those uh, walking holidays. So fun. 
just walk everywhere. I think you wanted to keep this, uh, Lolai did, but the uh, Raider, Raider Scout prevented him. He, uh, he might still be creep jacked here. No, you're the man, Chaco. Chaco. Yeah, yeah, I know you. I, I know, I know you know I'm the man, a oh, wolf. Comes the Raider. Here comes the Blade Master. And he's going for uh, the Druid of Talon. Does he have Master yet? Where's Master? Oh, it's too late, Master. He can what a Master this fight. At least uh, he's going to lose a few Druids of Talon before. Uh, there go two of them dead. Still has... Uh, wait, did he? No. He did not dodge any snares. Uh, the Beastmaster is in trouble. But he can save the Beastmaster. He stops the Beastmaster out. Beastmaster just saved. So he only lost two Druids of Talon. Which is... Uh, not nothing. Taco, do you think Orc on the Wyvern has a similar spirit, spirit, yeah. spiritual connection as the Ekron flying dinosaurs of the movie Avatar? When the rider with the rider, the Navi. Well, unfortunately, I haven't seen an Avatar. But uh, maybe. <laughs> like, I have no idea. Like these uh, wyvern wyverns, those orcs that ride the wyverns are so small. They're so small. They're like midget. They're midget orcs, and midget orcs they uh, they think differently than normal orcs. I'll show you next time we see a wyvern. I'll show you how small those orcs are on the wyverns. It's like uh, the dwarfs among the orcs, or the midgets, the gnomes, the gnomes among the orcs, halflings, whatever. So. Uh, I don't know much about them. They're their own race. You know, of course I know. I can't tell you I, I everything I know about the normal orcs. We know a lot about them. The wyverns, they're just their own tribe. Shao KK creeping over here. The oh, he finds two raiders. It could be trolls who ride the wyverns. No, they do look like orcs. Raiders is dying here. Two raiders dead. Level 3, Blade Master with Rune Bracers. He's gonna sell that. There it is. Sells the Ring of Protection, sells some other items. TC is almost level 3. The Light 42 uh, supply, Shell KK at 46. Spirit Walkers are adept. Because I don't think even in World of Warcraft, uh, they they don't say anything about those halfling orcs, right? Even in Hearthstone, you don't have a single one, so it's like a very secretively uh, secretive, uh, secretive culture, a secret culture. Blizzard is just hiding it from us. Details. Uh, Blade Master does have level two wind walk, level one critical strike. What a useless Blade Master, but he will get a creep jack here. Do we have a TP? We don't have a TP. We do get a mana stone here on the Tinker. He might give it later to the Beastmaster. Uh, there's some nice uh, cyclone, a nice cyclone on the one raider. Shockwave hit like uh, hits like three dudes of the Talon. The peons fighting by themselves. Can they kill the dudes of the Talon? While well, the rest of the orc army is just too afraid to fight. The peons, uh, they don't know any fear. They're fighting by themselves, and now they get back up again. There's a healing scroll used here by Low Light. This one raider is still flying. Blade Master flying over here next to the Berserkers. These peons, I mean, they're brave, but they're also dead. Those four peons, uh, I'm sure they will get a statue in uh, in Times Square somewhere. There goes this, uh, this Berserker. Wait, survived? The Berserker survived. Uh, it does not survive very long. The fact, Pocket Factory is standing way too far to the front. I uh, don't like the position at all. I feel like this is maybe why the light is so bad against Orc. It's because he doesn't know how to place his Pocket Factories. Uh, Demon Hunter, very long hit points though. And do we have TP? We don't have TP. So uh, the light cannot lose this fight here. At least not too one-sidedly. Uh, nice sect on there on TC, but can he mana burn TC? Okay, but he bought the TP. But we will see a shockwave, beautiful shockwave, killing one dude of the Talon here. And, and uh, yeah, 44 supply against 57.
Now let's keep him over here. Level 3 Demon Hunter, level 2 Tinker, level 2 Beastmaster, level 3 TC, level 3 Blade Master. Let's see what item we got. Flute of Accuracy, that's also not a very good item. Just like the Rune Bracers, uh, you also sell this item. So I think like Lin, Lin got so much luck against Yumiko that, Lo that uh, Shao KK just doesn't have any luck left. I don't know uh, how they're related, besides that they're both playing as work. I'm gonna sell this item, right? There, sold it. Of course, the items uh, are against human, or can use much more of the items than they can against uh, against Night Elf. Level 4 TC, Ring of Protection, not a useless item. TC is level 4, meanwhile the light is kill just killing burrows here in the background. Blade Master killing some dudes of dead and he gets Cyclot. And one more burrow will fall and the light's gonna TP out, maybe? Where's the TP? Wait, does the light? Oh, he does have a TP. Um, there's a nice uh, Bat Rider exploding on Fairy Dragon. I, I mean, the light is just fighting here. There's a heal school. I guess the, the Raiders are uh, stuck in the back, so maybe that's why the light stays in the fight. And there goes a Spirit Walker. There goes a raider. Oh, I guess uh, pretty good here for Lolai. The Beastmaster finally TPs out, kills one more raider, uh, probably loses one more dude of the day, and there it goes. 48 against 39. Suddenly Lolai this 10 supply ahead. That was great there for Lolai. Look at this. We have two spirit walkers, a raider, a raider. Oh, two raiders are over here. So three raiders, two spirit walkers, another spirit walker over here, and first of all, berserker over here. Only orc units, besides this one dude of the Talon. That was great there for the light. I assumed he was, was going to TP, but he saw like he saw the TP for Shao KK. He was like, that's that's such a shitty TP. And he just kept and fought and won. And pretty much won the game there. Not TPing, won him the game there. Never listen to me. Always listen to the light here. He knows what up. what's up. Little light now, five supply up still. Uh, Shao KK limited to 50 supply, builds another burrow so you can go over 50. Blade Master is far from level four. Of course, level five TC can still win this game. He's level four and a half now. But until he gets there, the heroes are stronger here for uh, Lolliot. In fact, there's not much creeps left. There's this little creep camp over here, and this little creep camp over here. Okay, okay, going to kill these uh, these guys first. Two level fours and level three. That's quite a, quite a lot of XP there. Blade Master, you don't want to walk in here. Blade, well, I guess he just he just needs to kill these. Well, I guess he didn't have a chance. Uh, they didn't have a choice. I mean, but uh, yeah, he shared the XP there, of course, with the Blade Master. Blade Master, by the way, almost level 4. Oh, he also needs a level 4 Blade Master. That might be more important in the short term. Because uh, he needs a level 2 Critical Strike. He still has level 1 Critical Strike still. And a Blade Master with level 1 Critical Strike. He doesn't even have any items anyway, but he's just so useless. Well, I mean, he's useless anyway in this matchup because he's just getting cycloned all the time. But There's a Pocket Factory. Some nice fairy dragons. Oh, the fairy dragon is going down so fast. He died. He was so low on hit points. He was low on hit points still from last battle. Cyclone here on Blade Master with yeah, 52 supply for the light. Only 48 for Shao KK. The shockwave hit like nothing. Um, uh, only this dude of the Talon that just walked into it. To the shockwave. This piggy so big. So level 2 piggies are so strong and big. And scary. Uh, the, the shop went down. There was pretty important building to kill there for the light. Are we gonna see a backup shop? Although in this matchup it doesn't matter as much because he doesn't have a Shadow Hunter. Uh, sure it's nice for the TC to uh, get some extra mana as well for an extra Shockwave. But it's not as important as the Shadow Hunter. Here we have a nice Cyclone on the on the Blade Master. TC going for the... no, nothing. This ball, the Demon Hunter. 
Uh, let's use the info potion. Of course, if he can get a level 5 TC, well, he still has that mana potion. If he gets a level 5 TC, uh, Shockwave becomes a lot more important. Uh, there's a Shockwave only hits the Tinker. Literally didn't hit anything else. Still have a healing scroll here on the Tinker, but he hasn't needed to use it yet. Because those Shockwaves are so bad. Now he's forced to use it pretty much only on the Tinker, because his other units are still full health. And there it is, GG. Lolliot wins that game. Game 2 here, Lolliot versus... Uh, First shell KK. <laughs> They're all losing to life no matter what they choose. Well, that that might be true. Okay, here's a demon hunter. Demon hunter here for the light. Do we have uh, game music? Game sound? Okay, uh, Blade Master, first Demon Hunter for your standard. We have Grunts, we have Wisps, we have Peons, we have Burrows, we have no shop. No shop! If we don't have a shop, do you? When do you build a shop? Usually earlier than this, right? So that means no shop means that he's going straight to the Night of Base. He's not going to creep this, uh, this little guy. Or maybe, I don't know. Would you ever creep that without a shop? No, right now. He's not going to creep this. He starts going straight to the Knight of Base. I'm sure, I'm 100% sure about this. Maybe uh, at least sell his TP by uh, Circlet. Not like you would deal so much damage with Blade for his Elf or his Talents. Okay, he's creeping this first. Uh, true, but the 7 damage you do with the Blade Master was invulnerable. That's what matters. And killing a hero, or, for, or at least stopping out the hero in those uh, seconds, uh, for that you do need a level 2 critical strike. By the way, nice items here on the Demon Hunter. A circlet and the slippers. Those are pretty much the best items the Demon Hunter could have gotten here. Jubei, by the way, Jubei for Orc. We have Terror Blade here for Night Elf. Nice mana burn there on the Blade Master. They're gonna fight, but the slippers are too strong. Also, he's level 2, so he also has evasion and just better stats. Um, Blade Master against Demon Hunter. Well, the Demon Hunter going for the shop. So the Blade Master got some free hits in. But he's still losing. Still losing to the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter is so strong here for the Lolliot. Well, the Blade Master is just a weak little no one. Maybe he should pick Critical Strike first. <laughs> Wave Matters, right from level 3. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, we have a fight here. Still, uh, the Demon Hunter, uh, Blade Master, 73 hit points, mana burn, but he immediately heals solves himself again. Uh, does he buy the boots? He does still have a boot, uh, scroll of speed. No one bought the boots. He didn't have enough mana to be mana burned there. So, he heals up. Demon Hunter probably goes home, heal up a little bit as well. We have one archer here. Nice. One archer. I like more archers. I like. Oh, well, does he? He does cancel this. Uh, this healing salve here on the blade master. Uh, the demon hunter healing, dropping down the circlet, drinking the moon juice. The archer dying in the meantime. While the demon hunter just taking his time, drinking, drinking a glass of water. The archer gets killed. Demon Hunter is gonna go for this item. Let's see if he's still lucky. Let's see if he gets another Slippers of Agility. If he gets another Slippers of Agility, this game is pretty much over. Like, if he gets his Slippers of Agility, I guess the Cloak of Shadows. I was about to say, if he gets another Slippers of Agility, the Blade Master needs again two boots for Quad the Loss here, from here and here. In this matchup, Boots of Quad the Loss is by far the best item. Much better than uh, Sobi Mask. Much better than any man items, much better than uh, Scourge Bone Chimes.
And we're eating some more trees. Nom, 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 nom. Fighting against the Blade Master. Fighting against the creeps. Maybe he should have eaten some more trees. Maybe he could have hidden here, maybe in the back. Right, the tree of war, Ace of War goes down. Double Angel of Winds. Vice Beastmaster. Blade Master fighting against Ancient Wonders, maybe? No? Maybe not. Oh, nice, nice stun there on the Demon Hunter. There's a Mana Burn 48. These guys with their stunts, it's so annoying. Look at another Beastmaster stunt. Bash is just, uh, okay, now Bash on the piggies. Oh, but he will get the item here. Well, let's see what item he gets. Tome of Intelligence and a uh, Sentry Wars. That's the best item. That's the item he wanted. And that's the item he deserved. A 16 hit point there on the Blade Master. He's, he survived for, for no problem. TC going for the... The piggy kills the piggy. The Beastmaster retreats. Yeah, he's getting a snare. He's getting uh, cows. Master's killing these kobolds. Getting Druids of the Titan. Demon, Demon Hunter stopping inside the base? No. Way too late to stop inside the base. Of course, tier 2 is up already. Stops to the piggy and he creeps this creeps. He puts a sentry word over here so he cannot be creep jacked. Or if he's going to be creep jacked, he will know uh, about it beforehand. Oh, Beastmaster in trouble though. Oh, he missed the speed call on the radar, but it's still enough. The Beastmaster, can he uh, save the Beastmaster somehow? No, the Demon Hunter is too far away. GG Beastmaster. Piggy now gets around it as well. First he sees his Beastmaster die, and now he's getting killed by himself. Poor Piggy. He had a tough life. Now Demon Hunter is in the base. Demon Hunter is level 3 here. Uh, why? What are these units doing? They're AFK. Units are AFK. What? Oh, a Sepper! I missed a Sepper! Sorry guys, I'm sure you wanted to see the Sepper. <laughs> Two P on Z. Did he walk on the north side of the burrows? Kill some peons at the same time. There's an ensnare. The demon hunter will have to TP though. One more raider with ensnare. Do we see a TP now? Of course he can uh, try to buy as much time as possible. Nice mana burn. Where's the TP? Uh, like now... Well, I, I feel like after the mana burn he could have TP. Would have uh, didn't would uh, didn't have to use as many moon juice as he does have to use now. These passes back out, maybe by clarity. There it is. Chow cake is the supply stock. Yeah, yes. Spent too much moon oil. Moon juice. Use too much moon juice. Peace Master level 1. Let's see. Jube is almost level 3. Let's see what, what skill is gonna pick. He has one close of attack plus 6. He has one circlet. Let's see what the item he's go gonna get here. The uh, root rage is all oh, what a shitty item. And he picks level 2 windwalk again. And just watch this game. Let's see how he's gonna lose again because of that level 2 windwalk. He has to sell the rune bracers. He uh, he's gonna place. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna buy separate. He's oh he lost a raider. He lost a raider to creeps. Yeah, he lost a raider to creeps. But he he's returning the favor with the sappers. Look at this sapper. Boom, beautiful sapper play. Uh, doesn't get to repair the wisp. And now he's gonna sell the rune bracers. Maybe uh, the juice of the talon are master. TC is still, is TC is level 3, look, TC is level 3, Beastmaster is level 2, I mean this game was kind of strange because of the sappers, but 
Um, this is usually the case. So you don't even want to creep your TC anymore. Like, what is the Windwalk doing? Doesn't even have the mana for it. Just want to pressure the... Oh, he's only 5 supply ahead though. This burrow, this burrow is going up. Keeping some more here with the Blade Master. Sapper is an orc unit. No, Sapper is a goblin unit. Sapper yeah, is a goblin unit from the goblin laboratory. So anyone can buy it. <laughs> the Sapper Revenge. Yeah. Sappers for Sappers. Okay, okay, continues to creep here. Continues not to really utilize the level 2 Windwalk. Level 2 Windwalk hasn't done anything for him yet. That is creeping with level 1 Critical Strike. If he had level 2 Critical Strike, this creep would have been dead already. The healing Scroll here, and um, of course the Wand of Mana Stealing. Not the best item, in fact one of the, the worst one item he could have gotten there. Nice Cyclones here, and now we have a fight here. And there is no level 2 critical strike. So, uh, Raider's killing. One Raider went down. He's killing the dudes of Tender there in the back. The Shockwave hit like only some heroes and the Pocket Factory. Pocket Factory, pretty important, of course. Kills the Pocket Factory. A very bad placement, I want to say, on the Pocket Factory, but it's alright. That's what we're used to of uh, Loliath. Losing some more dudes of Tender, killing some more grunts. We have 45 supply against 53. We do have a uh, supply advantage here for Shao KK. These Raiders, uh,. By the way, do we, have, we didn't have an info potion in this fight. No more healing scrolls either for uh, for either, well, either player. Either player. Uh, we still have three raiders up, but this time the pocket factory may be a bit harder to kill. Especially if he kills these, uh, the spirit walker. Great, he kills that spirit walker. Two of the dudes of Talon, very low. This guy can be micro. No, Loliath, why don't you micro? Well, he was probably microing something else somewhere else. Uh, there, finally, the pocket factory does go down. Uh, this blade master, what is he doing? Goes for the demon hunter. He is finally level 4 now. Please pick level 2 critical side. The Demon Hunter, what is he doing? Okay, he stops out the Demon Hunter. Uh, kills the last Spirit Walker. So only Raiders now. He can use as much Cyclone as he wants. And uh, doesn't have to worry about anything. But he doesn't have enough. Uh, oh, kills the last uh, cow there. Uh, the Beastmaster does fall. The Tinker, very low hit points as well. Does have Cyclone for the Blade Master, but didn't use it. And, uh, well, the game is still... Pretty equal, I want to say. If, especially if you can save some of these dudes of the Talon. 30, well, even if he doesn't, uh, still pretty equal. 35 supply for Lolite will go down to 33. 38 here for Shao KK. But the heroes, they give, they give a lot of XP. Heroes do give a lot of XP. That's why these heroes are level 4 and half. But um, they are pretty cheap to remake, of course. Please pick mirror image. Well, he still hasn't picked level 2 critical strike. <laughs> Maybe he was going to pick mirror image, but he decided uh, to listen to me instead. Oh, there's pretty, uh, pretty risky creeping here with just a demon hunter. Oh, what is this? We only have uh, two supply advantage for Shao Kek here, which is not good. But remember, the Beastmaster is still in the altar. So without the Beastmaster, this is looking pretty good for Shao KK. However, these Druids of the Talon just cycling everything. The Berserker will survive. And the Druids of the Talon, only one Druid of the Talon died there. And if the Demon Hunter can hunt some down, something down, he still has to staff. If he can staff out, this is going to be amazing here for Lolite. Only losing one Druid of the Talon. Did he kill the Berserker? Where is he? Oh no, he's still alive. We don't really, I don't know the the exact brackets. All we know those groups uh, in the link there. Those groups, we know the groups. Don't know how the groups, I know it's not round robin, but I don't know exactly how they work. Peace Passer, by the way, is still level two. Notice how he's still level two, even though he never had to Windwalker S. Even though we have a level four and a half TC and level four and a half Blade Master. There's a nice uh, mana burn on a cow. The birdie, so he sees Blade Master. Okay, 49 against 50, but remember, the Tinker is still not out. Still 5 supply there in the back of the altar. 
There, uh, the demon hunter killing this uh, raider. Well, the, the, the raiders killed the druid of the Talon. This uh, berserker goes down. Do we not have this spell? It doesn't have this spell on a single, a single cow, so you can uh, cyclone raiders as much as he wants to. The raiders come back down. Maybe you can kill some of them. There's the info potion. And use it to kill that uh, demon hunter. Look at those misses. There was some nice uh, evasions there by the demon hunter. But the demon hunter does fall in the end. And that's that info potion, man. Info potion on Blade Master. Those seven seconds. Those not with two critical strikes. So much damage. He kills that raider there. Beast Master in trouble now. But there's only one raider. Okay, two more raiders incoming however we still have uh there's no info potion remember that where is the cyclones here on the tc very late there and uh the beast master went down he could have probably saved the beast master if he cycloned that tc way earlier we have level three wave look at that hitting three dudes of talent or maybe even four yeah i think four dudes of talent demon hunter was bought back at the tavern tc in trouble though tc is going to die here uh for sure or maybe in fact not for sure uh for maybe we see there are some nice, uh, maybe Cyclone on Blade Master, maybe not. Okay, maybe no Cyclones on the. Okay, he doesn't have mana for Cyclone. Demon Hunter is going to die. Um, critical miss there on the Demon Hunter. That Raider dies. <laughs> Just to twist up the 10 left. No more heroes here for Nihil, for uh, the Light. But he still cares Orc away from uh, fighting. Orc has to retreat. Even though there's no heroes, Demon Hunter is being rebought. Of course, if the main gold mine is out of gold. We still have a chance here for Night Elf because he gets a free expansion and Shao KK does not. Does not pillage. Night Elf lost too many heroes, yeah. He needs info potions as well. But I don't know, maybe he should have been a bit more passive like when he when he didn't have his beast master when he didn't have his stinker just sort of demon hunter maybe keeping this was a bit uh a bit dangerous level 5 tc of course with a uh, clarity with a uh, mana potion maybe second mana potion we see uh, good players do that sometimes but uh shao kk still only at 41 supply so maybe a bit later Demon Hunter is... Wait, what? Where's the Demon Hunter? Rebot. Demon Hunter's rebot at the tavern. Some nice detonates, but we still have some uh, shockwaves there. There's one. There's a mana burn, so he's immediately out of mana. Nice detonates, nice mana burn. But he just has that mana potion. For one more level three shockwave. Demon Hunter again. Oh, he a potion on the Blade Master. Demon Hunter again. Oh, nice cyclone. Immediately after he uses that mana potion. Let's see uh, the cycle. Let's see that uh, that shockwave. Demon hunter though is he just going to die? He uses a healing potion. He kills one raider. Can the light still win this fight? Blade master, where are the moon juice? We have one moon well. One moon well. Are you kidding me? The light did so great here, killing two raiders. Uh, not getting. Did that other shockwave ever go off? I definitely didn't see it. The TC now surrounded. Is he going to die this time? Probably because we don't have any info potions anymore on the blade master uh, the demon uh, the TC oh, The demon hunter is still pretty low we See more cyclones here on the blade master on the TC on the TC on the TC. Okay I Guess not no mana Doesn't have mana on any of the uh, druids of the Thailand to cast another cyclone And he also needs to mana burn the TC now because uh, in a while in a few seconds Oh, he still has a little bit of time, but if he can get another shockwave off, okay, he gets a mana burn off, he gets a kill on the TC. Level 5 Demon Hunter, he did get another Cyclone from somewhere, maybe from New Dude of the Thailand. Does he have more though? He needs at least one more Cyclone, the Demon Hunter is in, in trouble. Where's the Cyclone? No, okay, he has a Cyclone, can he save the Demon Hunter now? The Demon Hunter has staff, by the way, maybe he should have staffed, maybe, oh, there goes the Demon Hunter. No other hero is being summoned here for uh, the Lyot. Not sure why he didn't summon that Beastmaster the moment uh, he cancelled the Demon Hunter. Maybe he didn't have the gold. This is, is this GG now. 
Is this GG? You have a level 6 Blade Master with level 3 Critical Strike with Blade Storm. Um, yeah, there's no, uh, there's no Demon Hunter being summoned. Is he waiting for enough gold to buy it back from Tavern? Yeah, there's a Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter back again. Level 5 Demon Hunter. I mean, if he still can kill Jubei here. Now, Jubei uses the Windwalk. Okay, let's see who wins this fight. Demon Hunter against everything else. Okay, the Demon Hunter can still win this fight. Do we have uh, Windwalk? Where's the Windwalk? Windwalk, uh, not Windwalk. The uh, Cyclone. Staff's out. More Cyclones. The Demon Hunter will staff out. Safety he doesn't have a shop though, it just has two movals, very low on mana. And meanwhile, Shao KK just rebuilding, just uh, rebuild, rebuilding his units. 200 gold left, 10 gold here. He has to approve his tree. Hi, El Chaka. Hi, El Shorty Man. Does Nettie's TV have bugs like Wack TV? No, it does not. not. <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> well, what? Uh, how's Low Light com going to come back in this game? He's uh, 16 supply behind. Walking across the map. That is Ancient of Winds. Okay, here's a fight. Info potion used on the Blade Master, also on the Demon Hunter. Shockwave hitting like one or two dudes of the Talon. And now it's getting mana burn for 16. Nice 60 mana mana burn. The De Demon Hunter is being targeted now. Uh, we probably need some more Cyclones here on the Blade Master. Maybe on the TC as well. TC does a lot of damage as well. Don't forget about the TC. If, uh, if your Demon Hunter is in trouble, Blade Master is the number one DPS on your TC. But number two, uh, I mean, number one DPS on your Demon Hunter is, of course, Blade Master. But the number two is the TC. TC probably does just as much damage as all the Raiders and the Spirit Walkers combined. So sometimes cycloning the TC makes a lot of sense. However, sometimes it doesn't because that means one dispel will dispel both the cyclone on the Blade Master and the TC. Uh, we have a Demon Hunter here. We have uh, Angel of Wonders going up. We have a Blade Master here and a um, Barracks. So, uh, where's the Angel of War? There's no Angel of War. I assume it's going Hunter's Hole and, and Huntresses. Oh, it's his disposition. Of course, he has to scout the disposition because the Orc can creep this uh, Golem very easily. Windwalk on level 3 for the win. Well, he did one now with the last game with Windwalk. Level 3. But it was mostly because on level 4 he got critical strike finally. That's when he started winning. He used... It, what, wait, what's happening? He bought a Nightstone to turn it uh, to night. Doesn't have any buildings yet. Bought the circlet. What is the strategy? The other one is bought by the Blade Master. He was probably planning to buy this one as well, but it was really bought by Blade Master. This is a very interesting strategy here by Loliath. Are you guys excited? I didn't sound excited, but I should be excited here because I've never seen this before. Like, or actually maybe I have. Well, not exactly this strategy, but we don't have Angel of War. He just was planning to buy two circlets and, uh, and win the game with a uh, stronger Demon Hunter instead of building archers. And Ancient of War, spending your money on that. Maybe, just like Elegance, he's gonna play uh, tri Trio, Try, Try Ancient of uh, Winds, and no second or third hero. That's uh, what Elegant though, did against Focus, of course. And was Focus? Yeah, Elegant against Focus. Elegant went Demon Hunter, no archers, Cripple, Ancient of Wind, and lose the game. So let's see if Lolight is doing the same. He's blocking the Blade Master with the Wisp. A nice uh, mana burn for 41. Tojara. We have Tojara, by the way, for the Blade Master. Well, the Demon Hunter is just Dark Terror. I mean, sure. 
archer. There's a grunt. This other grunt is just scouting around. He's, he's searching for the archers. Has he not scouted the knight of base? He did scout it a long time ago, but I'm not sure if he noticed that there was no ancient of war. What do you do against no ancient of war? I'm sure uh, Grubby would just tower rush him. Is he going to creep this? No. With just a blade master and grunt, level one blade master. There's no way you can do that. Are they doing well? We'll see, we'll see. He's of course very close to level uh, two tier two as well already. Uh, but he's still behind in the uh, tech. He's still slower than the orc. We'll build a barracks, we'll build two grunts. As a staff. Staff. Fighting against a grunt. Can a grunt win this fight? Against a demon hunter, I don't think so, but we'll see. Maybe if he gets the lucky, maybe if he gets some lucky 21 hit uh, strikes, and the demon hunter gets some poor like 26 damage hits. Okay, he stops to the wisp. He's gonna cancel this bestiary. What's this bestiary doing all the way in the front? Got with the grunt. Well, uh, blade master now coming back, but the biggies. The piggies and the beastmaster will help kill this, uh, cancel this bestiary for sure. And he does, he does not have a staff, but the bestiary, I assumed was cancelled and not killed, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, probably because he rebuilds it right away. Double ancient of wind. Demon hunter pretty low, but he, I think he can cancel this one more time. He has two piggies, has a beastmaster. Demon hunter just. He's not scared at all. He's just sure I can die. I can TP as well. Uh, he's going to TP. He TPs. Beastmaster. Very low. Maggie. Maggie and the Beastmaster runs the piggies away. But uh, TP's home with the Demon Hunter himself. The piggies. They might go back into the orc base here. Uh, the light. What are the piggies doing? Why are the piggies going on a run? Okay. Piggies coming back. A little bit too late now. I don't think... Uh, they can cancel it one more time. Like this one is gonna poof. This one is uh, gonna poof in a few seconds. This of the Beastmaster going with more piggies. One piggy doing a bit of damage. Maybe. Oh, look at all these units so hurt. He does get a greater healing potion. This is one uh, healing self on this one grunt. This is one healing self on this on this blade master. Okay, the demon hunter staff to the piggy. The piggy poofed. Uh, we have two piggies now. Can he? Uh, okay, he does use a mana burn just to cancel the healing self. Again, the bestiary is cancelled. No raiders this game whatsoever. But the demon hunter is surrounded. Does he have staff? He does have staff. Demon hunter gets staffed out. The, the forest berserker, so important unit, is gonna get killed here by the piggies. Can he save him somehow? Can he do something? The peons showing their true colors. Backstabbing the forest soul shadow pre uh, forest soul berserker. He thought he was safe. He thought the orc army was his allies. He was wrong. He thought just because they were green, but uh, we all know that forest soul forest souls are allied with night elves. They like uh, the night elves treat the forest souls very nice, but the peons they just backstab the moment they get the chance. The moment they see, hey, I can kill the forest soul berserker and. He won't get a chance to tell his friends. He won't get a chance to uh, to revenge, to get a revenge on me. Let's kill him. And that first little berserker was so dead. We have uh, a dead Druid of the Talents here. He's getting master as well. This is looking pretty good here for the Lion. Was cancelled? Okay. Artas move by peons. What the hell was that? I love Peon, but after what they've done, I just can't play Orc anymore. Well, that's just the true colors of the Peons. I, I'm i sorry uh, I, I, you learn about it like this. I'm sorry I was the one that showed you on stream. This is a Druid of the Talon. will fall though. Nice creep deck here. But uh, what item did he get? He got the item already, right? Did he sell it? He must have sold it. But an Orc didn't steal it, right? Um, yeah, there's no claws you can get here anyway. Why did I check the claws of the deck? He must have gotten uh, a pretty bad item and sold it. Demon 
Hunter, still level 1, so the Beastmaster. By the way, is he level 3 yet? No, not yet. He's gonna creep this, but is he now gonna be creep -jack? The piggy scouts it. Piggy scouts it and tells the rest of the Knight of Army. He is here. Oink, oink. You just come over here. Skull of the Beast. Ah, uh, decent. Decent item. And we do have Master now, right? But do we have Tinker? Yeah, we have a Tinker here. Lolite has a supply advantage. 45 against 40. This should be uh, should be a pretty easy game here for Lolite. It's a nice... Uh, we do have an info potion there on the Blade Master. So if he... Oh, wait. That's the first Raider, of course. Remember, the Raiders were so late. There's the first Raider. This uh, Grunt dies. Healing Scroll used here by Lolite. The Blade Master is out of mana. You can easily kill him. Uh, especially, well, not if you use the info potion. But uh, yeah, Demon Hunter taking some damage. Stops out the Demon Hunter. Level 1 Demon Hunter, man, so weak. <laughs> you saw how fast he went down to just level 2 uh, Blade Master. That's what you get when you're just level 1 and don't have evasion. This Forest Soul Berserker goes down. Forest Soul Berserkers, they don't have. Uh, oh, what? Demon Hunter. Okay, he bought the Healing Potion. I guess he's out of mana juice, Moon Juice. Um, Demon Hunter uses the Healing Potion. TC will fall here. And after TC falls, the Demon Hunter is your turn. A uh, Blade Master, I mean, Blade Master, not Demon Hunter. Well, Demon Hunter might die as well, but. Who cares about the Demon Hunter? Where's the Cyclone of the Blade Master? Does he not have mana? Okay, he does not have mana. Oh, he does have mana here in the back. He just goes for the raid, uh, Raider instead. Let's the Blade Master live. And meanwhile, Demon Hunter is level 1. Look how fast the level 1 hero comes back. Look at this bar. Look how fast. We can literally just count the seconds. It's like 2 seconds. Like, I'm pretty sure if, this, if we count... How many seconds it takes to get this demon under back? It's gonna be around two seconds. Uh, we can count here in a second. Like one second, two seconds. You see, that was about two seconds. Demon Hunter is back. Beastmaster creeping over here. It was a nice game. It must, must have been pretty hard those last moments for, of the first stall when those ba two bastards stabbed him with those freaking axes. Well, at least he died uh, pretty quickly. At least I hit him very nicely with the axe. It says there were some uh, clean, clean attacks. So he died fast and not a painful death. Of course, he felt betrayed. That's just a life of a first stall. Berserker in the Orc army. He did get level 2 Windwalk again, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna lose this game. A wolf. Okay, here comes the light in the Bane base here for uh, Shao KK. Killing this uh, Burrow. He has level 2 Tinker, level 3, level 1 Demon Hunter, level 3 Beastmaster. And oh, Boots of Quota, alas! Such a good item. He should buy that info potion right now. Well, maybe not right now. Uh, what do we have here, by the way? Expansion here for Loliath. We do have uh, we do have Pillars. Beautiful Sapper again! All these games, so many Sappers. How can I miss the, all these Sappers? Another Sapper over here. He's probably gonna kill these two. So many Sappers, man, in these games. Four Sappers just went down so fast. But that's the Tree of Eternity. Uh, who is under fire. All the burrows have been killed though. The peons are going to get killed and then he's gonna TP. Save his tree of eternity. I still, uh, yeah, it's looking very good for the Lyot, of course. He's 18 spy ahead. He's gonna kill some units. We don't even have a TP here. Oh, we do have a TP here on the TC. Shockwave hits some, uh, it's, it's level one Shockwave. It doesn't even kill the other uh, wisps. GG, lol. Lyot wins. Lol. Lyot. Lol. L. L. L U L, L, L O L. Sounds more like L O L than L U L, but that's all right. We have a level two Mother King, level three Archmage. Should we ask what the score is? It's probably one zero for Yumiko, right? Man, I, I, I'm done asking Chinese. Man, every time I ask, I don't get the answers anyway. We have a level three Archmage. <laughs> level 2 Mountain King. Uh, what do we have here for the Orc? For Ice Orc? Blade Master. Mikasa! Level 2 Windwalk. I do support level 2 Windwalk against Human. In this situation. Uh, doesn't... Doesn't get anything over here. Did get dusted. Rune Braces here on the Blade Master. Shadow Hunter Zookis. Over here level 2. It's gonna creep.
So, Yumiko lost to Lin, but is he gonna beat Ice Orc? Nice Stormbolt there on Mikasa. Mikasa! Mikasa! This guy goes down. Home of Strength, maybe pick it up. You know, maybe with the Mount King, maybe with the Arc Mage. Sure, that's fine as well. As long as the Blade Master doesn't pick it up. Dulkis almost level 3. And creep over here. We have a Kodo here. We have two Spirit Walkers. We're still initiate. Is he getting adapt? He's getting adapt, but look at this. What? Did he just cancel the Grunt upgrade? No, it just, uh, it just finished. But um, 12 regeneration upgrade. Have we ever seen this upgrade before? I, I don't know if I've ever seen it finished. Increases the hit point regeneration rate of headhunters, witch doctors, and 12 bed riders. Uh, I've only seen it used before when uh, when I played myself, when I was playing orc myself, and I went bed riders. I was playing lame bed riders. Wait, did he actually finish it or did he manage to catch it in time and cancel it? Oh, he actually finished it. Okay, so let's see how this fight goes. We have Speech Cult, uh, Peons, I'll dispel there on the Speech Cult. Baitmaster killed the Footman there. Uh, we have Godo that ate the Spellbreaker. So tasty, yummy, yummy Spellbreaker. More Water Elementals being summoned here for Yumiko. 60 Spike and 50. Uh, control of the Beast used here by... Orc? Was it the Orc that used it? I think so, but it all got dispelled by the Adept Priest there. So 98 Critical Strike kills the Footman. Now he's going for this uh, peasant. This peasant is going to die. Maybe not. Maybe it is. Okay, the peasant killed the grunt. Did you guys see that? There's peasants nowadays, man. And the peons as well. They're, they're the MVPs. Uh, sometimes they kill their own units, though. But if we're talking about peons. Uh, the peasants here still fighting uh, against the spirit walkers. Blade Master, two critical strikes in a row. 106 and 106. Uh, Mount King does a nice storm belt there on the Blade Master. But Mikasa, but Mikasa has to ruin racers. So she uh, she survived for now. Another raider does go down. 56 against 40. GG. Not the first game. I know that much. So at least one person has won one map. Unless the first map was a tie. We have Bow here with a Demon Hunter. Level 2. And a Keeper level 2. And Huntresses and Dryads and Bears. And we have uh, Noodles here. Level... Oh, look at this Blade Master. Look at this blade master plus 12 agility. Boots of Quartalas, circlet, 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 claws of haste. He will attack so fast. 39 agility plus the gloves. This is gonna be so insane. Did he get level 2 crit? He did. Oh my god, Noodles is gonna win this game. Noodles, this is gonna be so easy here for Noodles with the level 2 critical strike. However, uh, on the level 3 blade master against uh, bears and dryads. I am not too sold yet on picking the level 2 critical strike over the level 2 wind walk. Not saying it's bad either, but I'm just saying I don't know. He's almost level 4 anyway, so he will get his level 2 wind walk as well. Uh, Knight of cancelled the spirit lodge. He went double bestiary. I just see that now. We see uh, attack upgrade for the, his units. He's gonna get 2-1. He's just going for the base race. He does have pillage. What is he going for? For the shop. Meanwhile, the bears are killing the bestiaries. One down already. And a TP here for the keeper. Nice and snare there, there on the grunt. No, uh, not in snare. Entangle. The grunt, of course, dies here. But the demon hunter is just waiting here behind the angels of war. And now it's free to go. 0-0 zero, zero upgrades on Huntresses and the uh, Bears as well. 49 supply against 48. But the Blade Master now level of 4 can win the game by himself. Look, Blade Master level 4, Keeper is level 2, Demon Hunter also level 2, and neither have items. This Blade Master should be able to win the game by himself. Just win the game, Mr. Blade Master. I want to see it. Just kill the Keeper in 2 seconds. Look how fast he is attacking. Look some more and snares. Oh, the Grader is blocking the Blade Master. What a new Grader. Use the Invo Potion. It doesn't even need the Blade Master anymore. He did enough damage to kill the Keeper. Uh, Blade Master, you can kill what you want. You were invulnerable for a few more seconds, but I guess he didn't want to kill anything. This is, uh, he was, he was satisfied with just killing that Keeper, even though the Raiders got the kill. The bow at 56 supply now, and Noodles at 47.
More Kodos. Almost 10 armor. Yeah, you're right. 10.6 armor now. Now that he's level 4. Why is picking Keeper over Beast a thing all of a sudden? Uh, it has some different advantages and disadvantages. Especially against its uh, hit and ritual that Noodles is doing. Makes a lot of sense, right? Makes a lot of sense to keep to pick up units. Also, uh, Kodos you can pick up Kodos. Kodos can eat bears, yeah. Kodos can eat a lot of things. They can eat pretty much uh, every ground unit in the game. Besides creeps that are level 6 or higher. Mountain Giants with resistant skin, but without resistant skin, Kodos can still eat uh, eat Mountain Giants. Thorin, Abominations, Knights. They, they can't eat mechanical units, but, which makes sense. Like, how what are you gonna do? Chew on chew on a piece of uh, metal? Oh, but the Demon Hunter finally is. Uh, wait, he was level two earlier, level one even. Now he's level 3 with uh, Boots of Kaltalas. Suddenly he's not that weak anymore. Suddenly he's not... This playmaster doesn't have a free win anymore this game. Uh, Kodo of course gets ensnared. There's no dispel. So this entangle is super strong. As long as he, uh, he keeps his keeper alive. He, what did he entangle? Oh, the blade, uh, blade master. One Kodo down. He needs to entangle the second Kodo. But how can he get over there without getting killed by the blade master? Blade master with the uh, info potion just kills everything. Oh there's a TP out. Bo is 20 supply ahead over over uh, noodles. Although there's one bear, uh, one bear in the stomach of the Kota beast. These grunt, the raider solo on hit points doesn't look good here for orc at all. Even though he had that uh, blade master, I think after he killed the keeper, he could have done the more damage. But now he just gave gave too much time here for the bears, and he didn't have the spirit lodge. Remember? I don't think. Uh, Double beast. Oh, he does have one spirit loss over here. Uh, a bit late, but I don't think just beast areas that will, will never beat the bears. Even if you just mass codas, it's not really a good strategy because they get killed one by one by the entangle, and then the bears are free again. Uh, this coda eats a bear. Uh, all the all the raid is dead. This one still has a bear in his stomach. The keeper is retreating here. There's a dryad. Oh, he already has two dryads here. So these codas are never gonna survive. This is gonna be GG, and in fact, Night of us won, the, won this game. Bo won the game here against Noodles, even though uh, we had that Demon Hunter, Blade Master, who seems like he can win the game by himself, but I guess he didn't win the game by himself. Here comes the Shadow Hunter, nice mana burn for 40. There it is, GG. Here we have uh, Bo versus Noodles. Hopefully, we'll have another interesting game. We have a Blade Master with some Grunts. Over here we have a Angel of War, we have an Archer, we have a Demon Hunter, very standard so far. And should we ask, let's ask if it's 1-0. One, 1-0? Zero. One, zero? Do people even realize that I'm asking here that is if it's 1-0? Or are they just like, what are these numbers? What is he talking about? Because it's either 1 0 or 1 1, right? Guess no one knows. Thanks, Chinese people. Thanks. There was a nice uh, one of illusion here for the Blade Master. I'm sure he, he bought that circlet from over here. And the Demon Hunter. Class of Attack. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, the Archer in trouble. Run, little Archer. It's almost night. Oh, it's not almost night. <laughs> it's still two hours away or so. There goes the archer. Is he going for uh, Angel of Lords again? I wonder. I don't see the Hunter's Hall just yet because uh, he's not going to Huntresses, that's for sure. This peon blocking the Demon Hunter. Beautiful block here by Noodles. The Demon Hunter gets through. He's going for this burrow. This burrow is going to be cancelled. Look at that cancel. Oh, here comes the Blade Master. Blade Master. Going for the Demon Hunter. Mazuru, by the way. Mazuru, the Blade Master. The Synth Dweller. Oh, he's surrounded by fake Blade Masters. Oh, he gets out here. What a bad surround there by Mizuru. Oh, but the Grunt. The Grunt makes up for it. Sure, the Blade Master cannot uh, surround, but the Grunt knows exactly how to surround. These fake Blade Masters just standing here, protecting the peons, giving the peons 
a sense of uh, being protected, a sense of well-being. There's an ancient uh, war mill, very early war mill here. What's this war mill for? For noodles? I don't understand. Uh, he's building more archers. He lost the first archer, made two more archers already. Is he getting another archer after this archer? Yes, he's getting another archer. Three archers. That's pretty insane. That's a lot of archers for this matchup. That's even more than life makes. Life uh, usually makes three archers, although life doesn't lose an archer. Uh, we have boots here on the demon hunter. He also has staff. I mean, he could walk in there, but there's no damage he can do with there with the blade master right behind him. A blade master, by the way, level two. Mana burn for two. What a mana burn two, and then uh, he got hit by the wind walk. You know this blade master. Let's see if he can beat the archer. Is a blade master stronger than an archer? No, blade master just poofed out of there. I guess the archer was just too scary. Blademaster in the base, he st has staff, there's nothing to cancel because there's no tier 2 buildings up. Grunt a bit too late to surround the Blademaster there, a uh, Demon Hunter there. Uh, three circles by the way on the Blademaster, he bought one of them, maybe a second one as well. Let's see, probably got one over here. And he must have uh, bought the other one, so he bought two circlets. That's probably why he doesn't have a lot of grunts. He has one grunt here. Building a second grunt. Also his tier 2 is very delayed. Why? Because he didn't have the gold. Didn't have the gold because he bought so many circlets. Okay, he's gonna keep this with the blade master two grunts. Meanwhile, the beast master, the three archers and the demon are keeping over here. This is why I like so many archers early game. This is so insanely good. The night elf can actually creep faster than the orc. And if the night elf heroes are stronger than the orcs heroes, this is pretty uh, pretty good for night elf. We do see angels of winds this game. Blade master is killing this guy. We have a nice healing wards. Healing wards is pretty nice. This grunt, you don't want to lose this grunt, but. This guy's just healing himself, so the grunt is fine, he's safe. Oh, we still have one creep over here, an ogre mauler. He might close the grunt away. Nice micro there by Noodles. And the ogre just attacking the blade master. One on one fight, blade master versus the ogre mauler. Well, it's not really one on one, it's four on one fight. Ogre, <laughs> blade master versus the ogre mauler. He uh, does kill it, gets no items because the item dropped from the level five. Ogre magi, of course, which was at healing wars earlier. Uh, meanwhile, over here, we see uh, Noodles creeping over here. What item did he get? Sobe Mask is decent. More piggies. More piggies. It's not a Boots of Crotalas, but it's uh, a Sobe Mask. I'm not sure um, exactly how much the mana on the Beast Master matters. Feels like in a fight you don't have... Uh, you don't use all your mana anyway. But because he's creeping, of course, using the piggies a lot while creeping, he's constantly using his mana. So I guess it's pretty good. A Sobe Mask is probably the best item, uh, mana item he could have gotten here. Maybe, maybe plus six intelligence would have added more. I don't know the math exactly. If 50% is is uh, adds more mana than plus six intelligence on the Beastmaster, because he doesn't have much uh, intelligence in the first place. So maybe the plus six intelligence. Gives you more mana than the Sobe Mask here. But anyway, we have a Druid of the Talon out. He's already adept. Healing Ward. He's keeping this with the Healing Ward. He got Warsong Battle Drums, the best item. What? Okay, well, we did see that the War Mill earlier. Apparently, it's for Headhunters, not just Headhunters, Berserkers, and Kodo. He's gonna get a Master Kodo. This is interesting. I just totally forgot about this weird. Shit that this orc is doing, but Noodles is doing. Maybe he can surprise. Maybe he can surprise Bo. I mean, Bo has he scouted yet? Well, he definitely scouted now with the piggy. Sees the headhunters. Uh, doesn't we don't see an orb yet here for orc? Orb would very be very nice against the beastmaster summons. Close of attack plus six gives us a blade master. Blade master for sure. Let's <laughs> close of attack and of course the warzone battle drums and of course the. Uh, Kodo battle drums and of course the Kodo battle drums increase. So uh, let's see how much damage he's going to do. There's the upgrade. 
Plus 29. Sure. And he has 875 hit points. These are Berserkers now. A Blade Master though, but very strong last game as well. And he still didn't win that game. Let's see if he can win this game. He did pick level 2. Critical Strike. Okay, that's nice. That's perfect. Tinker got healed here. Blade Master gets mana burned. We have a Naga third, by the way, here for Orc. Uh, no Dispel. No Dispel. <laughs> no Spirit Walkers whatsoever. So, uh, Cyclone. Well, there's no Dispel. Doesn't have an Invo Potion either. Um, yeah, don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work very well. You might say, well, Berserkers, they are great against the Druids of Satan. Doesn't matter, because they suck against heroes. Uh, we have a chicken demon hunter, he still has a healing potion, the, the, the Kodos are also down to half health. Shadow hunter pretty low on hit points as well, he hasn't, doesn't have mana for mana burn, uh, I mean healing wave, but the demon hunter isn't here so he cannot mana burn that uh, shadow hunter before he does get the mana. Beastmaster does go down, beautiful kill there on the Beastmaster. That's what you get when you have plus 29 damage on a level 3 blade master with level 2 critical strike. Uh, the Tinker is going to die as well, maybe I uh, was wrong. <laughs> the kills the demon hunter, kills the tinker. I was completely wrong here. Of course, I was. I was wrong. I mean, I was just testing you guys. Uh, easy win here for uh, noodles. That's what I was saying all along. Even though different words came out of my mouth. Uh, we don't have mana for shadow hunter though, so he has to retreat. Buy some another circlet, what the fuck? I think instead of buying another circlet, you should have bought another info potion. Bow, uh, not bow, noodles. Uh, info potion, especially if you don't have this spell, it's gonna be a bit better than another circlet. Five circlets. He's at 47 supply, so sure, you can buy items instead of buying units. Maybe, uh, yeah, some more berserker, sure. Maybe it's a spirit lodge would be nice. Spirit lodge. Okay, well, the Demon Hunter is back. The Beast Master is uh, taking some time. Not sure why he's so late on reviving the uh, Beast Master. Maybe he was reviving the Demon Hunter, then saw an opportunity to buy the Demon Hunter back. So he had to cancel the Demon Hunter, buy the Demon Hunter at the tavern, and now he's resummoning the uh, Beast Master back. Okay, we have another fight here. Kota does plus six damage, by the way. Oh, the Blade Master does uh, Cyclone. Plus 19, what? Why only plus 19 now? Plus 14, what? Plus 29. Okay, plus 29. Kills the Archer. The Demon Hunter, what is he do doing? Demon Hunter is going to buy some items. Do some sort of here in the back. But it doesn't really matter how... Oh, uh, he does have an Info Potion now on the Blade Master. He can easily, peacefully kill a Demon Hunter if he meets one. But the Demon Hunter is out shopping. Beastmaster is uh, still not out yet for quite a few more seconds. It might be like a full minute or so. Like as fast as a level 1 hero. I showed you guys that a level 1 hero comes back in 2 seconds. This is more like 10 minutes a level 3 hero. It's insane. He also the Berserker. Demon Hunter so low. Dies to 198 critical strike. And there it is. GG. Drunken coffee, but drunken coffee. I believe. Wait, I've I have some uh, notes about this player. Drunken coffee. Oh no, cafe is drunk. Is wing? Is this also wing? I think this is wing. But that doesn't say much because who's wing? Blade Master 76 critical strike. He has a uh, cause of attack. Has some nice uh, boots. You need to add North Korea to get a response. Wait, what? B Blade Master should be throwing his hinds in there 24/7 like he doesn't care. Oh, you mean in the in the chat? Someone is asking if it's one one. Talking in Chinese. I don't know.
We have uh, four fees here for Lucifer. He's killing this grunt. There goes that grunt. Lucifer, uh, Death Valley is level two here. Does have a mantle of intelligence. The uh, Blade Master here, not the greatest items, I want to say. Ring of Protection, eh. Claws of Attack. Mm. Content of Ogre Strength. Okay, okay. It's it's alright. It's Majuru, though. It's Majuru, the Blade Master. Against the Death Knight. Death Knight already level 3. Baron Bloodbane. And Ross Splinterstone. We have a Slaughterhouse going up. We have Acolyte uh, walking back to the Haunted Gold Mine after summoning that Slaughterhouse. Do we have any, anything special over here? Nothing special, just a standard standard for Orc. Let's see if one, any of the Chinese people answered that. 1-1. One, one. Okay, apparently it's 1-1. It's one, one. Let's just assume it's 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one, set score there. Alright, update. Here. Uh, what senti word is this? Lucifer senti word, so he saw that the orc was creeping over here. Uh, blade master so low, two, level 2 blade master, but level uh, only 50 hit points. Sasquatch goes to Lucifer. Look at all these senti word, uh, yeah, senti words here on the death knight. Also has uh, slippers of agility, which is not that good actually on the death knight, but blade master almost level 3, so close to the level 3. And about uh, the grunts and the raiders and the blade master trying to kill the fiends, but you cannot kill fiends. You need level two crit or something. Okay, maybe actually I was wrong. He gets one fiend because he used the coil to kill the raider. I'm not sure. Uh, well, if I like the coil, but the coil there would have killed the blade master. But that beautiful hex there, chicken uh, death knight. Does he still get it? He still gets a blade master. Incredible here. There's a false nova on like a grunt, which is fine, I guess. Uh, it looks pretty good here for Lucifer. He's gonna kill some more uh, more grunts. This grunt is fighting against this fiend, but we do have no more coils. There's a nice Fos Nova. This grunt is going to die. This raider will never catch this fiend, or really? GG! Beautifully played here by Lucifer. He showed one more time how good he is. Focus RS. He. Uh, we haven't seen a single game of him. His name is too confusing. It's too, too similar to Focus's name. Which is annoying because then people might think it's focus the orc player but he's focus rs which is a death player yes, we have a level five blade master here oh by the way what's the score the score is of course not two to one the score is um zero zero a five blade master level three tc look at these items on the tc He's not going to die anytime soon. Shadowhunter, two mana stones. What is this game? Did Undead just stay in his base all day or what? It looks like it. Game looks already over. But Undead's not that far behind in his supply, but in items and hero levels. We have a level uh, 3 Lich, level 4 Death Knight with like no items. Compared to like a level 5 Blade Master with plus 19 damage. Plus uh, info potion. He's creeping even with the blade master. Look at these crits. Two crits in a row. 292. Another crit. 296. This blade master just critting at 272 as much as he wants. I don't think he should be creeping here with the blade master though. Just uh, get a level five shadow hunter. Just get, get a level four TC. Why not? You know why not? Level four TC. In fact, gives 10% uh, attack rate increase instead of five percent. That's useless. EC is uh, pretty hard to kill now with the talisman of evasion as well. He has agility and intelligence buff as well for with the uh, hood of cunning. So that means extra mana, extra hit points, extra armor, extra everything. Time is looking pretty one-sided here. I don't think there's anything on that I can do here. But no items at all. The de the blade master, the heroes by themselves can win the game. By the way, we have bed riders. Okay, bed riders. The bed. You see how big the trolls are on the bed riders. Now look at the wyvern. Look how small these orcs are. Are they mini orcs or what? They're so small. This is what I was talking about earlier. They're like they're half halfling orcs. So hard to see if it keeps moving. Stop moving! Damn it! 
Oh, I was just trying to talk about the wyverns. Okay, well, we have a fight here. Um, the 12 bad riders, of course, completely useless. Can Orc still manage to lose this game by just having a very shitty army composition of bad riders and wyverns? Well, maybe, yeah. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I was saying how the Orc can still win the game with just his heroes. Well, he'll, uh, we'll see it here if that was the truth, because that's all he has left. Just the heroes here for Orc. Another bad rider coming in. Uh, the Blade Master gets uh, some nice crits in, a nice stomp there, hitting like everything. Uh, Dark Ranger is uh, slowly dying here to, to this grunt. We have a Phosphorum. Phosphorum goes for the Shadow Hunter. Uh, we also have a tower here protecting the Shadow Hunter. Can he get the Shadow Hunter? No, because he heals himself. Now we have a flying uh, little birdie thing instead of Phosphorum. The Dark Ranger in trouble. Dark Ranger dies. Uh, 220, 224 critical strike there on the Death Knight, and there it is, GG. Focus RS, lose to Shao KK. Shao KK won with just his heroes, pretty much. Okay, let's see. Pink. We have pink against yellow. Pink against yellow. Oh, wait, Ted is streaming. Maybe Ted. Ted doesn't show the score on the stream, does he? Very forward food to launch here for the pink orc. Uh, two burrows, slow tech. Here on the other side we have uh, one burrow, fast tech. Uh, doesn't look like uh, Ted shows the score. Well, Blade Master, what item did he get? Class of attack is a decent item. What item did the Blade Master get over here? Circlet. In this matchup, is that better than close of attack or not? I don't know, it's very close, very similar at the very least. Infi vs. Lin is playing. Yeah, but it's not part of GCS. It's not GCS. I have to watch GCS. It's just a ladder game. Blade Master going for the burrow. This burrow is gonna be cancelled. Blade Master, look at his sword, doing so much damage to this burrow. This burrow going down pretty fast. The Grunt comes and saves the Burrow, but he cannot save it. The Burrow is cancelled. Kajint. Uh, here we have the Cafe's Blade Master Daisho. Okay, he builds a War Mill. He has to kill the War Mill if he wants to escape. If he wants to escape. Okay, gets rid of the War Mill. Use the Windwalk to get to escape. But he's going back in. Is he? Uh, he was pretending to, but then he saw the Blade Master here for... Uh, the yellow blade master, the, the blade master for in, for a cafe. Grunt against Grunt, that's a very interesting fight. Pink blade master retreating here. I show. They're uh, both still level one. Can he cancel this uh, burrow once more time? He does have mana for a woodwalk, but oh, he's. Wasting too much time, so no, the answer is no. Well, with the Grunt, maybe. But the Grunt's definitely going to die. I'm, meow. I'm not sure if that's worth it. I just heard the Meow, what was the Meow? Oh, the Grunt is, is so dead. Look at this Grunt. Uh, can you cast my game as the last game of today, I think? Was it the... Uh... And... Re-login in my... Uh... Anyway, Blade Master here gets at level 5. Or, wait, what? A player's forces are under attack. Oh no. Um, thank you for casting so much. Makes working on the PC a lot easier. Well, thanks for the donation, uh, Milk Machine 223. Two dollars. Thanks for the donation. I appreciate the uh, support. Anyway, the Blade Master here had to use his speed call. He is pretty low. We have a level two Blade Master here for uh, for the Yellow Orc, which is uh, who's the Yellow Orc again? Oh, the Cafe hunting down his Blade Master.
Blade Master sells a ring of protection, of course. Such a useless item. We have two circlets here on the Blade Master for Cafe. Oh, well, the Blade Master here for uh, for the Pink Orc. Balish the Claws of Haste. He has the Claws of Attack. He does a lot of damage now. He can cancel maybe the Spirit Lodge or the Burrow or both. Uh, goes for the Burrow first and then all the. We have a Shadow Hunter, so he won't get the Spirit Lodge, but I think he still will get the Burrow. He's a piggy now. There's a cancel the Burrow. We have the third Burrow here anyway, so doesn't need that Burrow. Meanwhile, the Blade Master killing the creeps here. Uh, what item will he get? The Claws of Attack plus 9 is, of course, uh, nice. Um. Pendant of um, ener ma energy. Pendant of energy is of course even better. But he gets uh, he gets the close of deck plus nice. 112 critical damage <laughs> strike there on a five hit point cobalt. A bit of overkill. Zulkis is the Shadow Hunter's name here for uh, for cafe. For well, the pink orc he has Zorajas. Creeping over here in the blade master coming in to help. Blade master still level one here. Uh, almost level three here for uh, for cafe. Arc music is so good. It is pretty good. I think uh, all work of three music is pretty good. Like it's uh, it's kind of there on the background. It's not too. You don't pay too much attention to it, but it's just nice. The background gives a nice uh, feeling, uh, atmosphere. Uh, the mood anyway the shadow hunter is gonna be creep tracked he's walking in between the pink pink units oh no it's the other way around pink orc is gonna be creep tracked not really because he he never really starts creeping or is he is he gonna start now here comes the blade master here comes the yellow uh, shadow hunter cafe shadow hunter he, he goes for the shadow hunter of uh what's his name of uh of uh, pink uh kills the shadow hunter and he's gonna kill some more units with the hex uh, blade master level three Blade Master is just barely level 2. He does have a speed scroll though, so if he gets somewhere uh, safe fast enough, he maybe can still save that grunt. That bunny grunt. No, it doesn't even go for it. It had spirit walk. I think maybe he had the chance there to, to save it, but it did die there. And it's looking very good for Cafe, so good. So far. It's looking very good for Cafe so far. Uh, Pink Orc needs to get the Shadow Hunter back. Spirit Walkers. Raiders, okay. Is there anything else? Uh, anything strange go ongoing? We have the Wormel for Cafe, Wormel for Pink Orc. They're creeping a little bit. But the Blade Master, by the way, he got level 2 Windwalk. So if he got level 2 Windwalk, I feel like he should have scouted this. Should have been pretty easy. Bought an uh, Info Potion. Maybe he just didn't expect it. Maybe didn't spe expect Pink Orc to be creeping there. The Blade Master for Pink Orc does have two uh, Glows of Haste and a Claws of Attack. While the Blade Master here for Yellow Orc, for a Cafe, two Circles and a Claws of Attack. I think the Glows of Haste are actually better. However, this Claws of Attack is plus 9. So overall, I guess the Blade Master is a bit stronger here for Yellow, for Cafe. Also, he's a hero level higher. Which matters a lot. Level, level two, well, wind walk ma doesn't matter that much. In a fight, it doesn't matter that much, but that means he does get a lot of scouting now. Maybe he can do some creep jacks, steal some items. But he does need that info potion, but did he just buy the sentry wars there? I think he just bought them, though. No, I think so. Yeah. Or did he buy something else? Did he have the sentry wars already? Was I blind? He definitely bought the Gloss of Haste. Maybe he got them earlier. Our forces are under attack. I just don't remember seeing those items. But I don't see any other items from uh, this creep camp either. So he must have gotten those uh, sentry words from over there. He's uh, going for the Blade Master here. Do oh, this Blade Master is going to die. I don't know why he walked back. Uh, do we have more? Oh, we have nothing else actually. He survives. I think he could have been killed. That's a little bit on uh, how you use your hacks and your snares. Level 3 Blade Master here. I mean, he had vision on him. He uh, ensnared him, which was fine. Should he have hexed him before he. Uh, yeah, I feel like. 
you you alternate between hex and, and snare to get as much uh, damage on the blade master as possible so first you snare him then you hex him then you get the second snare then probably he would have been dead already but or well maybe then you get him get the second hex in and then he would have been died, uh, dead anyway uh he's he survived we two have two healing scrolls here for cafe though cafe we have two level three heroes for cafe well uh pink orc shadow hunter is also level three okay and does have the pendant of energy we have 50 supply against 50 supply but no healing scrolls of course for pink orc instead he will need to use he need, will need more mana on the shadow hunter but there's no mana items really on the on cafe's shadow hunter we could buy mana items my mana Wait, the blade master is uh risky over there let's see are there any nice items to buy not really maybe potion of greater mana uh blade master here by the way for for not this blade master blade master here the pink one has level two wind walk as well level one critical strike A player's forces are under attack. 60 supply against 59 okay still uh it's still pretty even I want to say, I mean, there's two healing scrolls, of course, for Cafe. Well, the Blade Master is too far, too far away. If if he engages here, this is going to be horrible. Blade Master, come back soon, ASAP. Please, please come back. We need you, Mr. Blade Master. Okay, he's just engaging without the Blade Master, but he does have uh, two Kodos. He has uh, a closer supply route. We have uh, Grunt and Peons all fighting against the other Raider over there. Where's the Blade Master? Blade Master, it comes back in for Pink Orc. He's gonna lose his Kodo though. This Kodo on the top here is still alive, hiding behind the Shadow Hunter. Hex is that uh, Blade Master. There is a shop here though for Pink Orc, and this shop might actually uh, mean that he still has a chance here, even though he loses that Kodo. He was about to attack Critical Strike, but he, he hauled in his attack and it's much for the Peon instead, and Critical Stroke the Peon. The Kodo here eating nothing. He has to be a bit careful with the Kodo. He really doesn't want to lose this Kodo. The Kodo here for uh, Cafe didn't eat anything either. It's also there in the back just to uh, give that 10% damage bonus to the entire army. We see 47 supply for Cafe. 53 now. 56 here for the Pink Orc. So he's doing actually just uh, doing all right here. There's a nice healing, school, uh, healing wave. Do we have healing scrolls left here for Yellow Orc? No more healing scrolls for Cafe. He's going to kill the Kodo. It gets us uh, Raider Eden. Kills the Raider. These uh, raiders, and all the units for Pink Orc so low, but he has infinite mana because of the shop. And of course, the band of energy as well. Well, uh, we're out, out of mana here for the Yellow Orc, but if he can kill this Blade Master, you know, he gets a healing wave just in time. Uh, I feel like the longer this fight goes, the better this is gonna be for, well, I don't know, these units are very low. There's some easy pickings there for uh, for Cafe. But the Blade Master, don't lose your Blade Master. Oh, and that will be GG. That will be GG. Wait. I do believe we saw a game of this earlier. I thought it was already 2 and 0, but apparently it uh, was only 1 and 0. This is uh, the one, very one sided game earlier where. Uh... Oh, Keiko okay, had like all the items, all the hero levels, and one with just. No, was it this game? Was it Shao KK versus Focus RS? There goes the list, by the way. Or was it someone else? Did we see someone else play against Focus RS? Was it a cafe? But now I, I forgot. Um, okay, let's keep the score at 0 0. And yeah, I'll cast this game. Maybe one under, when, we have a, when we have a break, maybe we can figure out some uh, things. Anyway, the Blade Master. Killing some units. He has uh, two claws of attack. One plus nine. One plus six. He has a gloss of haze. He's pretty strong. Plus twenty damage. The death knight here is not very strong. He's a seal. In fact, he's going to die, and that's going to be GG. Okay, this game seems over. We had an expansion here for undead, by the way. No expansion for for uh, Shao KK. And that's an interesting play. Expansion for undead just doesn't make much sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. Like on that, and that is strong late game. Once you got that orb, and sure, uh, maybe he made the ex expansion only after he got that orb. He... Oh, his lich is dead. He never, never got the third hero. 
Uh, we have some bat riders here. Four bat riders. Eight match for the walking around. Good. Good. Great game. Interesting game. Let's see if the Chinese chat knows something. No? Check my own stream. This is the same game as we saw earlier. Uh, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I don't know. Kodo can eat. Kodo can't eat a Kodo, but it can eat a Mountain Giant. Thinking face. Well, of course, because uh, because you know, Kodo is very fat. It's very round. So there's just no. Your his mouth cannot just go over the entire Kodo. Well, Mountain Giant is just very tall, kind of like a like a big human so you can just eat it like from the feet down or from the head downwards right so of course you can eat a mountain giant but not the color makes sense blade master it's gonna kill some units we have uh, two statues three statues death knight is out let's just uh not out yet is he rebuilding expansion he's <laughs> rebuilding this expansion what an interesting play here by this uh, dead player. Rebuilding the expansion. He has so many towers. The bad riders, some of them are going to die, but it doesn't even matter at this point. So KK does get a few bad riders off. Doesn't get enough to get that uh, destroyer down. Kills uh, the shop. He has expansion here, by the way. I'm thinking, we saw a focus RS earlier against an orc. Went the uh, Weaverns and Bat Riders. Was that Shao, Shao KK? Was it not? No idea. The game only lasted for a few seconds, so it's hard to find the game. I'm trying to, uh... oh, it was yeah, it was Shao KK versus Focus RS. So okay, okay, nice. That means it's at least one zero here for Shao KK. So updated the score. Shao KK has one zero ahead. He's definitely gonna win this game as well. This again, just like the last game, these players played against each other. Very one-sided game. Very. No chance. No chance for focus RS. Here comes the uh, here come the bad riders. Not enough bad riders. Again, bad riders not that useful. But if you have if you're two bases and your opponent only has one, of course, they're fine. They're fine. You can go bad riders. There's actually one situation where bad riders are very strong. If you just have more money than your opponent, it's like you can just throw money at your opponent's air units and win the game that way, which is nice. But there's still two destroyers alive, killing uh, units. GG.